Welcome to another episode of The Bastard Sermon. I'm one of your three hosts, Cody Hucker. Patrick Seda. And Luke Young. And today we've got on Marlene Mendoza and Brad Hester, a.k.a. Dr. Beardo on Twitch. Give it up! <laughs> I'm sorry, just Beardo. Yay. Just Beardo on Twitch. Just I might have fucked that up. Did I fuck that up, Brad? Yeah, you did. Constantly okay. fucking it's it up. just Beardo. Did it used to be Dr. Beardo? Why do I have it that did, on my... Yeah. Okay, that's why I have it on Long my time head. ago. Why Thanks. did you change it? Why? Yeah. Because the name Beardo is better? I think Beardo is better. And I got the I had to talk to Twitch and they gave me the name. So, so like you're the only Beardo out there. Well, I mean, you there's know, other Beardos, but yeah, pretty it's much. It's kind of hard to find like original like names without numbers and shit online on the internet anywhere. When was yeah. the last time you had a fucking original like name on fucking like you, uh, Gmail or some shit? Usually, you have to bet like let's say Luke Young. You probably have to add some numbers to that. How shit. about the Bastard Sermon? We didn't add any numbers to this fucking podcast, Patrick. Well, it isn't so, called the Bastard Sermon Podcast One Two Three Four. Well, when I'm not I was an making it, some motherfuckers on some sites took the the for some reason. There That's are true. those <clears throat> only on Twitter. Are they? Yeah, who are they? I don't know. We are need they? to find them. Hunt People them down. that are listening, find them, hunt them down, go get them. <laughs> Please Absolutely. don't hurt anybody. But anyways, Brad does a whole bunch of Twitch streaming of the game Rainbow Six, and I'd really like to get into that as well at some point today. And Marlene is a phenomenal musician, also teaches music as well. Is it just guitar or piano? Uh, both. Both? She does that's, more than that, too. It's really fucking cool. She does ukulele. Um, what else? Uh, bass. Other and stuff. Other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most difficult instrument? Would it be piano? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're all equally uh, difficult. That seems like the most complicated one. You have to actually learn how to read music. In my experience, skin flute is the most difficult of all the instruments <laughs> that I've ever played. I mean, I'm sure but it is. But um, yeah. um, But first, we wanted to get in and talk about uh, this whole R. Kelly shit. If you guys have not <laughs> seen, the motherfucker got... Uh, Arrested. He was arrested, right? He was arrested, and then he got fucking set loose for fucking like having a sex cult. Now he's doing like weird fucking interviews. There's like a whole documentary on Netflix that I haven't seen. But Marlene said off the mics that she had seen it already. Yeah. Tell us about this fucking weirdness yeah, that's going on with our. What Kelly. is this documentary? Um, supposedly they just talk bad about him and all the things that he did. Like he kidnapped. Um, woman in his studio like he did these what do you mean kidnap how do you how does he kidnap them i don't know he, he had her locked in like in his studio and wouldn't let him leave what yeah, yeah. they yeah. had to like ask permission for food and bathroom and yeah. yeah and then the moms are like looking for them and then they're like i feel like they're brainwashed like the yeah. oh for yeah. sure it was brainwashed or yeah. something i read a, I, did, I didn't see the the uh documentary but i did read up a little bit on it and like all the fucked up shit he would do like obviously with these underage girls and in, indoctrinate them. I don't even know if I said that right. But he's like just basically like convincing underage girls to want to marry him. And then they'll go out of the state and then like he'll bribe the parents. or I don't know if this is true, allegedly. Bribe the parents to like basically allow them guardianship or some shit like that. And he won't let them leave the house or whatever. And it's all kinds of fucked up shit. I mean, he was already a creep years ago. Like the, they had that Chappelle show skit where he was like the oh, yeah. pee on me video because he's pissing yeah. on 14 year old girls. Trip, trip, trip. Allegedly, I don't think R. Kelly has any money left to sue me with because he was on fucking that interview. He crying does it. And shit. He, when he was uh, uh, arrested and placed into jail, he was put on bail and he couldn't afford the bail. Someone else paid it for some him. fan. It was like one hundred and sixty thousand dollars, wasn't yeah, it? Something and like that. some fucking fan paid that. That dude's been a creep for fucking forever. How did he get away with it for this fucking long? I just don't. Know. Is it? Do they explain this in the documentary? Like how he got away with pissing on a 14 year old and then like he gets out of that people still keep buying his fucking music and then he has like a whole sex cult like yeah what's yeah. the thing there yeah they explained all of that like they did this whole court stuff and they say that maybe like he paid someone or something for that so i don't know all of his money is <laughs> tied up in bribes you also have to consider the technicalities of, of how he may have gone about it with some of the females like okay so i'm not saying it's Okay, so like, Luke sounds like a like, master serial <laughs> rapist right about no, now. No, so like, he, tell us, you fucking he goes, psycho. He goes to these these concerts and he performs, and then he goes backstage and he has these groupies show up. So then he finds out like whether they're uh, of age or not, and then he's like, "Come on a tour with me." And then they come on out and they fly out, and then they're with him for so many weeks, and then he's like, "Oh, you don't need to talk to this person or that person. Like, you only need to talk to me." 
And then they're like, oh my god, yeah, I only need to talk to R. Kelly. And then they, they don't have their phone. They don't have an access, uh, oh, way to talk to their parents. And then they, they talk to him. And then eventually there's no communication. It's just it's just me now. So it's just isolating these people? people? Yes, yes. And and because they're of age and because they're he's like working them gradually like that, it it cheats the, the legal system. I've only heard about this shit peripherally from dudes at work talking about it and talking about how this dude's going to jail and fucking how he's doing all this creepy shit. But they were talking about it at work. I haven't seen I haven't seen like the interviews with these people, but apparently there's all these creepy videos of some of the women that he's been with saying all this crazy shit like I'm not being held against my will i'm here of my own free just the reading most. something behind the camera yeah. uh there's a gun there's an ak-47 pointed at her off screen like just what the fuck like just the creepiest shit over and over again and then i did see one where uh what's his name it's Jimmy. like hostage videos yeah <laughs> straight up it's some fucking like al-qaeda video of like his girlfriend he's, he's like the joker behind the screen 100 percent. that's what's happening <laughs> The Harley, all of his fucking girlfriends are Harley Quinn and shit. But no, there's, <laughs> there's a fucking some creepy interview that he did that uh, Jimmy Kimmel made fun of, and that's the only one that I've seen really. And he's just like, it's another interview on I don't know CNN or some, who, who fucking cares. It's another interview that he's doing with some lady, and he, he's like crying in the middle of it and saying the craziest shit in the I middle gave of y'all it. Thirty years of my motherfucking life. Yeah, he's crying. <laughs> he's like, how am I supposed to pay y'all back when y'all took? my means of making money how am i supposed to pay money when i got no way to make money and then it was just like that over and over. i'm like what the fuck is this psychopath saying and then the next one it cuts to like his two girlfriends and they're both 18 years old and shit and like they're talking about how they live together and how like he's it's all consensual and everything's good but and it's like what the fuck fuck is going on here man how old is r kelly is he like uh, second is 50s he, he, yeah he's right? like four, 52. 52. 52 52 he's old 52. enough to did be you, a complete creep speaking yeah. of like like abuse and all that shit did you hear about like johnny depp like what you what are your what are your first thoughts on johnny depp i know he's broke as fuck because he spends his money on dumb shit like security you're talking but, about the the amber heard shit yeah so basically she amber that. heard uh, I know a lot what about fucking this movie actually. was she in i guess it doesn't matter <clears throat> amber heard she's an actress and she's like 27 years old and he's like 60 fucking thousand years old and uh basically she was going around saying that uh, he was beating her and like all this other shit and it was like, it just everyone had this whole fucking image on Johnny Depp saying he was a piece of shit. But recent evidence came out that, that she it was, was actually, she was the one abusing him. So, check this out. Uh, Stan Hope, I've referenced him yeah. a thousand times. He's Who one is of he? my favorite comedians Could? of all time. <laughs> just kidding. So, uh, Stan Hope became friends with Johnny Depp. Like, uh, apparently, Johnny Depp watched his special note refunds and fucking sent him some weird email. And Johnny Depp has to live this crazy life where he's like like taking secret tunnels to go places and has to dress up in disguise to go to the store with his daughter he's that and like he's so fucking famous like he just like he can't go out in public and get anything tunnel done systems? something like I'm that sure. so, but listen but listen <laughs> I'm sure so like he couldn't just directly get into contact with Stanhope because nobody can just have his fucking number so he had to like do this weird roundabout thing where he becomes friends with Stanhope and when they first developed their relationship is when shit was on the rocks with Amber Heard and he was apparently telling allegedly telling Stanhope like this bitch is about to set me up and act like I'm doing all this crazy shit and like blah 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 going on, going on this like whole rant like about how I'm about to get fucked over and like she's gonna try to take everything from me and all this shit and then it came and then like a, a month later it all came out the Amber Heard like he's abusing Amber Heard and that video came out of him throwing shit and losing his marbles. He didn't in like, his kitchen, right? Yeah, he didn't hit her or anything, but no, he's like he throwing shit off. around, acting like a psycho and shit. And but I mean, I, he didn't. He never laid his hands on her the whole video. It doesn't mean, but it seems like in that it's video, aggressive. it's like that's the type of dude that would hit a girl. You're like, oh fuck, this dude's guilty. But then like, uh, Stanhope was the only one that came out with like a letter, being like, hold on a second. Like he said that this is what was gonna happen. He said that video was gonna come out. He said that all this shit was gonna happen to him. He was like, I saw the interactions that they had together and like. He was trying to avoid her all the time. All this shit, like, he wrote this big, like, essay about it and stuff like that and defended Johnny Depp. But I didn't hear this next part. It's, so it it is true, like, that he was being set up the whole time? All he was this being shit. set up. Look it up. Holy shit, this yeah, just so, came out? Yeah, Johnny Depp, we kind of, like, switched the gears there. That's but we right. should definitely, like, talk about, <laughs> watch the R. Kelly freak out. I'd like to see that. Yeah, I want to see the yeah, I didn't R. Kelly hear freak about out. This, so. The what? Johnny Depp stuff? Isn't that yeah, nuts? I haven't heard about it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't know what you would even look up. Look up Johnny Depp uh, was abused, or Amber Heard abused Movies. Johnny Depp. I don't fucking know. 
I don't. It should be the first shit that's coming up. There. Domestic abuse case just got even something, something, yep. something. Six days ago, so this is fairly recent. It says the Amber Heard Johnny Depp domestic abuse case just gets even messier. All right. Well, this is just some fucking tabloid shit. Like, there, there's nothing. Well, I mean, this was what was here. being brought out it all says, over the news. Back in 2016, many became invested in the uh, domestic abuse charges against Johnny Depp. According to Amber Heard's testimonies of the incident, her ex-husband had hit her with photos to support this. And at one point, she took a video of him flinging a wine glass in a fit of rage. She said that this would often happen when Johnny would lose his temper and lash out at on her verbally and physically. Naturally, people rallied behind Amber and condemned Johnny's actions, blah, 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 blah. It's been almost three years since the case and their divorce was settled in court. So why are we talking about it again in 2019? Well, it's because people are changing sides after Johnny Depp filed a $50 million defamation case against Amber and has presented evidence that he was allegedly on the receiving end of abuse. Okay. Uh, all right, so then they go on to provide <clears throat> fucking supposed evidence. I don't know. It's all yeah. fucking... But just read, look it up. Uh, I mean, look we could spend all day just reading you don't, I'm talking about, like, people listening. Look it up if you want to be more invested in it, but it, it's pretty wild. I'm not saying who know, who the fuck knows what's really going on. That's interesting because yeah. Stan Up did get a bunch of shit for defending Depp because he's like, oh, you're fucking offending abusers and blah, 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 so on and so forth, but... Who fucking knows? I don't care about these people's lives, in all honesty. Not true, really. I really don't give a fuck at all. <laughs> fuck it. I don't yeah. know, dude. Speaking of which, uh, I saw Crimes of Grindelwald recently. That movie was fucking hot garbage. Yeah. Hot garbage. Yeah, Johnny impressed. Depp, stay away from Harry Potter. <laughs> stay away. He's Anyways, that's all I gotta else. say about it. Yeah, he's know. in everything else. Is there anything you won't touch? What are you going on next? Star Wars? Is Johnny Depp in Actually, that movie? He yeah, might, he's like the main bad guy. He probably will be in Star Wars. <laughs> Dude, Star Wars is, has become hot garbage. Star Wars is hot it's, garbage. It's I turning agree. into some shit. Dude, Disney's just manufacturing those fucking things out as fast as they can. Brad, what do you hate about it? Uh, what about Star Wars? Yeah, what do you... Uh, no, I, it's not that I hate Star Wars. I like Star Wars. Um, I like the fact that Disney took over Star Wars, but as he said, they're they're kind of making too many too many movies too quick. Oversaturating. They're they're oversaturating, and they're honestly they should focus on like maybe one or two. Yeah. Make those really good instead of just pieces of shit. You know, yep. like I think we just watched Solo the other day, mm -hmm. and. Honestly, who gives a shit about Han Solo? <laughs> that's what I thought. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, I never like, watched do somebody it. good. Do Boba. Do a fucking Boba Fett movie. Yeah. Yeah. Who gives a shit about want. Han Solo? Obi Wan Kenobi too. Right. Yeah. yeah fucking like, do the characters people like, want to see. Do somebody who's a Jedi. I don't give a shit about fucking plain Jane Han. And they got a guy who really sucks at acting. He was, to do yeah, he Han did. Solo. Yeah, they had a lot of issues with the. Uh, oh, he was terrible. Directing him. I They've have, got a crazy EU. Also, like if you look up like the lore read of the Star books. Wars, read fuck, the books. Fuck that. I ain't got time for all that. But if you just watch the YouTube videos, like I do, <laughs> my stupendous <laughs> wave is good. Stupendous, stupendous wave, wave is, is my fantastic. favorite one. He's my absolute favorite. Favorite, like yeah. Star Wars lore guy to look up and just like just get enthralled in like Star Wars lore and stuff like that. Yeah. And they go balls deep into like Darth Bane and like all the, how Darth Maul really didn't die. But just Disney got chopped scrapped in it. And they have that fucking that Darth Maul backstory in fucking and Solo. Yep. I never saw Solo, but I heard about that and I was like, I don't want to see Solo, but I want to see that part. And I YouTube just that part just so that I two could seconds. see. And it's a two second hologram of Darth see, Maul. They should have like, done a movie about Darth Maul. That's what I'm right. saying. That's Everybody what I was getting to. That. Why? Why the fuck not? Like the, the, the thing about Disney is that they're not only just pumping out constant Star Wars content. I feel like I'm watching a new fucking trailer for a new reboot remake or some shit from disney every fucking they week. all look the same and now they uh, like yesterday um which I, whatever the fucking date on the 18th they uh, disney signed a deal and took over fox 21st century fox yeah, right so now x-men's coming over and, and the, the simpsons Four. yeah and just like it's, i mean the it's one wild. thing i like about disney is the fact that they they have the means to like the CGI means, like yeah. they can create whatever and make it look incredible. They do good. So that is that is Except one thing bourbon. that I'm completely fine with them taking over on a lot of the like, well, like a lot of the movies, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, to 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 just push them out like they're a fucking like a baby have one every fucking nine months. It's crazy. Yeah. They I, do it all shit. the time. I agree. I I've had the biggest argument for the the terrible movie that was Rogue One. Uh, with so many people. The end, though, Rogue was one, dope. Rogue One actually it wasn't. wasn't dude, Shut it the wasn't fuck up. Rogue what are you talking about? <laughs> so finally, that. at it the end of Rogue One, they give you the Darth Spoiler Vader alert. scene that you always wanted to fucking no, see. 
Get the fuck out of here because they never show badass. you. They never show you how powerful fucking Darth Vader is yeah. for all of Star Wars. Yeah. He just like gets beat. He's, he's a super badass and he's breathing and he looks cool. And you do a star. They do a Darth moves Vader slow movie. in the movies and he's yeah. kind of just doing goofy hand shit. And you don't give a fuck. You're like, yeah, he's a badass because they filmed this shit in the 70s and 80s and they didn't have the fucking CGI. But then at the end of Rogue One, they make him terrifying, like the way that you envision Darth yeah. Vader to be. And you're telling me that's Straight hot badass. garbage. What are you talking about? Everybody's like trying to get out there. You with can't, the thing, you the can't light redeem shut the down. entire movie for a 30 second fucking scene of Darth I'm saying Vader. that scene was dope. That okay, scene was dope. Let me say this. It's one indisputable that I'm that neutral. scene was fucking amazing. I'm neutral on the subject because I will say this. All the new movies that have come out, they have had the worst and the best Star Wars scenes I've ever seen. Dude, it's it, Rogue One is just bad because it, it gives you a cast to not care about because they all die they by all the way. Yep. Yeah. And, and there's <laughs> nothing new to learn the entire yeah, there movie. There is. You knew the goal. You knew they were going to succeed and you knew that Luke was going to get those plans and bomb the fucking Death Star and the Death Star yeah, was going to they... lose and then they, the Rebels were going to win. There was nothing new to you learn. You always knew that, movie. motherfucker. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, the bad guys never won in the Star Wars movies. You always know the good guy's going to win. That's the, not true. The reason that you're they tuning blew up a planet. in. planet. The thing that you want to see is how did they get that fucking shit that Leia has in the beginning of A New Hope. I don't give a fuck about how they got that they there. They give you another morsel of Star Wars fucking nerd I bullshit. I want two hours of lightsabers and new content. I do too, but at the same time... Oh yeah, well, I don't want to get off completely off I the road. I just want a movie thing. about villains. So yeah, do I. That'd Star be Wars dope. villains. Yeah. What about the fucking bounty hunters? I'd be okay with a movie about Jabba the fucking Hutt. That'd be pretty cool. Let me see ancient so, Siths or something. Like right? that's what I want to fucking see. Right. Like old lore shit. Like right, that happened the back Republic. in the day. The beginning of the Jedi. The beginning of the Sith. Like how this the shit Jedi. started to happen. This that is would what be cool. I want. And instead, they keep giving you bullshit and telling you like, "Oh, we're actually gonna turn Star Wars into a direction where it doesn't have lightsabers." And I was like, "I'm fucking tuning out then. Like, I don't want to <laughs> see it. I want the lightsabers. That's why I'm here, cocksucker. Like, well, I don't get the lightsabers. Yep. It's the whole reason I'm tuning in. That yep. yeah. And I'm then." With you. The force, I get it for the fucking Rogue One because that's nope. you didn't get the, nope. the lightsabers, but then they gave you that ending scene, and I, my dick got rock hard at the end. I was like, "Oh shit, what the <laughs> fuck?" Because like the lights go out, it's so fucking dramatic. All the people are like, great. "Get the fuck out of here!" It. They're You're all like, running. "What?" He just starts sabering through the doors, Pull and up. people are like, "Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Take the shit, take the shit!" And he's just fucking yeah. mowing down dudes. I, I, that shit was fucking dope. I, I'm gonna try. They, to find they it. actually, it was uh, they also <laughs> added that. Up. Scene. Scene, like that wasn't originally a part of the script, but that scene was because that, they Vader. needed something to save that boring ass movie. I know, I, yeah, <laughs> probably. But um, no, they added it back there because they wanted a lightsaber at some point to show because up. Because it was in a it. boring ass movie. Tell me the scene isn't badass, Luke. I know it's a badass scene. It's the only scene that has a fucking lightsaber <sighs> in it. Well, yeah, but still. I mean, <laughs> It made, to me, I was like, I would have bought a movie ticket just to see this 30-second scene at what? the end. What? Do you know, like, that happened what? a lot with, like, The Phantom Menace. Like, when that movie first came out. The Phantom out, Menace was ill. Yeah, it was, you thought it was I good? I don't remember it. I don't think I watched it. Well, when that movie came out, it was, like, the big release after 20 years or some shit. There was some movie, Meet Joe Black oh, or wait, some shit. Oh, was the first one? Another yeah, reason, uh, episode episode one. One. Okay, Another yeah, reason that terrible. made a Star Wars iconic was because there was such a long gap right. in between That's the, the cool episodes. Part. So when that movie, when the trailer came out, people bought all these tickets to go see. I think it's Meet Joe's Black. They Scout. went to go see that. They fucking left after the trailers were over and didn't even watch the movie because they just wanted to watch the trailer for Star Wars. Rip. Interesting. Do you guys want to? Yeah, guys wanna I'd love to watch this quick. shit. It's badass. Luke, I'd have bought a movie ticket, paid full price just to see this two minute just scene to right see here. This scene. We're gonna have to mute this. Yes. For, at certain points, because if anything will get us taken off, it's yes. for sure playing Disney Star Wars yes. content on the uh, podcast. Like, yeah. No. Oh shit! Oh, oh, it already. This already scene was so up. awesome. I gotta turn a little bit of volume on. You know why? Because the whole movie was boring. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I waited that whole time for something to happen. If the, if the whole movie had lightsabers and you and you just sectioned out this one scene, you'd be like, "This is boring as fuck." True. They should have just redone. I, they should have shown you. <laughs> fucking try to if win the, this argument. The, Rogue One was boring. Yeah, if, if the whole movie had lightsabers in it and they tried to pull this out, yeah, it wouldn't be that impressive. I think I just Not changed my all. whole opinion about this movie just with Luke's comments right now. <laughs> I mean, that yeah. was a, that was a, it was a good comment, honestly. When, 
when it was I heard good. when I heard about the movie, like, oh, they're gonna make Star Wars three point five, I was like, dope, I'm gonna get to see what fucking happened after he became Darth Vader. Nope, instead we're gonna show you how you got the plan. You're right, this movie sucked balls. <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> this scene was great, but I don't need the rest of the movie because no, the only no, they all die. I don't yes. remember anything else. Yes. I, isn't there Nothing. like isn't there one part where you see one character from the the old Star Wars? Like, oh, okay. And then all of a sudden, everybody else is just like, no, nope, they're all the dead. At the very end. <laughs> yeah, they do one more scene. They do another cameo of Darth Vader I, halfway through the movie for no apparent reason, and then it goes... It had it. James Earl didn't Jones it, on it, though. Yeah, James Earl there Jones There was some cool great. moments, let's be honest. Right? When the Death Star first shot that fucking planet, and you got to see it from the planet side view, that was awesome. Yeah. But the rest of the movie is hot garbage. Like, what the fuck is that truth-telling fucking octopus creature? Do you guys remember that, where they captured the fucking TIE fighter pilot? One Didn't they Luke. have that on Futurama also? I'm sure they did. Like, <laughs> there what was, the fuck? There was a truth-telling fucking seven... Octopus? Octopus monster, yeah. God, what the fuck? What is it doing? It was, seven the, one, it was the episode with, like, Sinbad, your ass? where Sinbad had his dick cut off. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you guys see that? No, I don't oh think so. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's great. Futurama was awesome. <laughs> was it was it Futurama? Hold on. Might have been. Or yeah, I'm, it's I'm like, pretty sure it was because I'm pretty sure it was Fry. He was about to get his dick cut off. Does that mean Disney owns like Futurama now too? Mm. Because oh. that's made by Mac. That's made by the Simpsons. Just, they, I think they're so. just win, I think they're just trying to win back the comic rights. I think, I think so. Disney's gonna start putting presidents in office. And shit. <laughs> yeah, it's what? fucking. Oh, it's me. I'm the president. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh bow down before me. Oh, oh, ICBM nuclear strike. Hey, oh. tell me how. Tell me how realistic though impossible it is to tell. Dude, I can totally to see it. Mickey Mouse on like just screens the, all over the country, just Mickey delivering Mouse a message every on the fucking hour. White House. You look at the White House, you get pictures of Mickey Mouse mirrors over the top of the arches. I'd kill myself. That's a Twilight Zone episode. I, I bet it's black, black mirror shit. If that if that ever happens. What? Dark what? Stars what? What's going to happen? You're going to shake your head and your eyes are going to glass oh, over? Like they just Police will be uh, mascots. <laughs> No, yeah. Don't say that. Go see Goofy. Is you see Goofy your ass? Oh, <laughs> fucking Donald D- or da- it was a Daffy or it's Donald. Donald Donald Ducks of fucking Ice member or some shit. <laughs> god, what Can't the wait. fuck? Oh my fucking god! Did you guys? Uh, uh, I want to talk about this because this kind of blew my mind. What? You guys watch or or hear of uh of of uh, Alex Jones going back on Rogan? Yeah, of yeah. Course. We, it's the biggest no. podcast of all time. Ever. Do you know who Alex Jones is? No. Do you know who he is, Marlene? No. Uh, Alex Jones is like the he's most a, he's notorious. A he's a fucking insane person. But, but he, he, what he talked about on the show, which turned out to be true, was that there's fucking pig human hybrids. What? Okay, oh, yes. tell, tell him, it. tell him who Alex Jones is. Like, how would you explain Alex Jones? It's the biggest uh, uh, conspiracy theorist of all time. He go. runs a giant media network yep. uh, that has to do with a bunch of conspiracy He's theories and facts <laughs> that are mixed together. And uh, he got in a lot of trouble because Sandy Hook. Or... He said uh, Sandy Hook didn't happen. Which, if you aren't familiar, is the elementary school shooting that mm-hmm. happened in I think it's New Jersey. I might be wrong. Or Connecticut, something like that. And uh, he didn't say that, and he explains it on Rogan. He and then he got banned off almost every social media site. And some people are calling him racist. Some people are calling him. Se- they relate him with sexist, Trump. This, a lot. that, and the other. And uh, he hadn't been on Rogan for a while because he burned some bridges with Rogan, and Rogan was kind of mad at him. I'll for break his legs. Said. So um, he came back because the the last podcast he did with Rogan was the most downloaded podcast of all time ever on both YouTube and audio. It's Fantastic! Alex Jones gets drunk and high and starts talking about how there's interdimensional child molesters that are coming down and crossing different dimensional borders to rape your kids. He believes it, this. Like he's just freaking he the talks fuck about out the, the whole so time. So he he says a lot of shit, and he, he he does seem like he knows what he's talking about no, for a lot of government shit. But when like he starts talking about the, I'm not saying I believe his shit. But he, he, he has a lot like he has a lot of the, information, let's be honest. Yeah, he has the, a lot of information. The problem with Alex Jones but is But he that, sounds like a fucking crazy person when he brings up the crazy shit. You're like, okay, you got me oh, oh internet dimensional being child rapist. He okay. might be right even fucking eighty percent of the time about the shit that he's talking about, but then he starts saying shit about interdimensional vampire child molesters. This is a direct quote, I'm not just saying I'm not just pulling those terms out of my eyes. This is what he said. Yeah. When you say that, you lose all credibility for everything else that you say, and you sound like a fucking psychopath. And then he just he does that over and over again, and loses all credibility. Yeah. But yeah, he went back on Joe Rogan to clear the air about a bunch of things. And what? So wait, hold on, pig human hybrid? Yeah, look this up, uh, Snope, yeah. Snopes. So he was talking about how uh, they're tr- in some states are trying to secretly pass this bill where you can uh, uh, go for post birth abortions. 
oh, what the fuck is yeah. this? Yeah, and he said it's a pig that man that that <laughs> those pig. those bills that they're trying to pass uh, are are linked to this shit. They're trying to uh, uh, take these children that parents have given up rights to, and these made these two made babies for uh, for manufactured organs <clears throat> to sell. I mean, it was. It sounds uh, like something Alex Jones. Well, Stalin, Stalin, for example, did uh, this thing where he tried to mix apes with humans. There was like a whole ape army thing that he was trying to do. It never worked, but he would like have women fuck apes and apes fuck humans and all this shit, like both sexes. He would make people do this shit. It's fucked up. (laughs) That's just weird. Yeah, Joseph Mengele used to sew kids together, but it wasn't for the betterment of humanity. It's because there was a lot of sick fucks that existed. Who? You don't know about death. Joseph Mengele? Dude? Never heard of it. He was the doctor at Auschwitz. He was a Nazi doctor that would take twins specifically and sew them together. He was they have movies about him. Shit. It's yeah, horrible. He did horrible things oh, yeah. to human beings. What, what the fuck? What was that? Uh, we just seen a movie just recently with him, like kind of mentioned in it. Was what? it on Netflix? It was a. It was a no, zo- zombie no, movie. Yeah, it was like a zombie movie. Dead Snow. Overlord. No, no. no it it, ju- it literally awesome. just got out of the theaters probably like. Four months ago, three months ago. Okay. Are you sure it's not no. Overlord? Yeah, it was like it might it might be it Overlord. Hold on. It, Overlord sounds it was metal like metal as fuck. Right I want to see that movie. Go see so that movie. Bad. It's awesome. It's we're, awesome. We're jumping all over the motherfucking place. Yes, we fucking are. So <laughs> yeah, we went from R. Kelly is. to it's Johnny over, Depp. It's Overlord. Yeah, to Star Wars good. to pig human hybrids. Let's stick to one topic. <laughs> pig human <laughs> hybrids. And then They're real. And then after this topic, let's please get into our guest lives so that we can yeah. actually uh, address why they're on the podcast today. But okay, so the Alex Jones thing. Uh, this is on National Geographic. I don't know. Everything has been discredited at this point. Everything seems like fucking lies and fakeness national, all the time. I but mean, National Geographic, Geographic yeah, in my head, is, is a reputable right, platform. Right. Okay, they're just here for the science. Shut the fuck up. This and it shit says is on real. here, human-pig hybrid created in the lab. Here are the facts. And they have a picture of this pig em- embryo was injected with human cells. Okay, so it's a pig embryo, and it's just injected with human cells. Early in its development, grew to be four weeks old. In a remarkable, if likely controversial feat, Scientists announced today that they have created the first successful human-animal hybrids. Shut the fuck up. This is some full metal alchemy fuck? shit yeah. right now. <laughs> so if they started doing this, would you guys be okay with it? That's I mean, the real question. If what? Would I be okay if, with if, it? Like, if they started doing this, like where you know, they were injecting like more than just pigs, would you guys be okay with that? Well, that is a very, very good question because you got to think about human rights. Yeah. I you mean, would? it's not technically. They're, they're, it's, <laughs> it's more or less they're doing it to the pigs, though. They're, in, but what they're giving it, the pigs the human um, traits. Here's where the yeah. issue comes in. So, what's the intelligence of the creature after it gets the human? Because pigs this are already hyper intelligent cre- creatures. Right. Like people don't know, but pigs are like almost as smart as dolphins. I think I might, super might smart. be wrong about that, but they're smart as fuck. They're really intelligent animals. <clears throat> And uh, we eat them. Okay, so that's already kind of crazy. But um, they're delicious. But here's the thing: if we're bacon, bacon. But here's the thing: if we're injecting them with human cells, does that increase their like intelligence? Does that make them smarter? Probably. If it does, do they now get human rights? And are we going to keep them as lab experiments? Are we going to treat them as like intelligent beings, the way that we've now started to treat? killer whales and fucking dolphins and stuff like that freeing them from cages and not allowing them to be hunted and things like that that's where the real issue is is like how intelligent are these things because right. fish i mean i'll stomp a fish's brains in and never think about that fish ever again all right but wow you kill a dolphin that's gonna be on your wow. conscience for a while all wow. right true so, true i think that's where the the issue is that's like fucking, I, I just it's hope they, they, they don't make a man bear pigs that'd yeah. be even worse Dude, do you guys ever let them loose you fuckers ever kill flies in your house, or do you just let them around? No, you kill them. You kill them because they suck, and they're they're not as smart as you, and fuck them. You put them lower Cody down. Cody hates animals. The, some animals. Cody hates animals. He told us off the, off the podcast. Sorry, cat. <laughs> love cats. I love dogs. Kidding. The cat's already dead. Never I love mind. the animals that are uh, naturally domesticated, oh, but nope. anything else. I, as long as it's not in my house trying to eat me, I'm fine with it. But uh, Unless it's a fly. If it's annoying, yeah. Fuck I'm out of here. I'm just fucking with you. What if it's a robotic mosquito? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is it taking pictures of my dick when I'm beating off, Brad? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it catches you at your most intimate moments. Yeah, that's the real issue with that. Let me break that down now. No, but that's that's what because you said, or would you be all right with it? I'd be all right with it if it was still as dumb as a pig. Because I'm like, we eat those, so I guess that's cool. But uh, 
if it gets like human level intelligence, start speaking. We need to start, yeah, that, that's where it gets a little out of the line. You start having a different discussion at that point. <clears throat> you if you if it? you can literally have it and it grows. Wait, up, what did you say, you, Rachel? I said, would you fuck it? Would I fuck it? <laughs> <laughs> would you fuck it? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. Is it some big thick? old uh, pig titties? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if that's if it had human nine titties? pig titties, like nine pig titties, maybe. Like they're human titties, but they're like as many as a pig would have. Yeah, that'd be weird. Well, that's always been stomach. my dream, Pat. I saw Total Recall for the first time, and I was like, imagine the titty three, fucking. I mean, it could be nine. It could be at least nine. Imagine the titty fucking, Cody. I know you're thinking about it. Because I have. <laughs> yeah, Pat. Because you're I have nine fuck? dicks. I have nine dicks. The, imagine the titty fucking the kid. What? It's just you probably this, play the drums the on the same, titties. It's with just your the dick. same crease. <laughs> Pat, dun, it's, dun, 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 dun. it's the same crease. You just got to move your dick around. Like I could do that with an armpit and a leg pit. Like already, I mean, I don't need. Would you? Would you have sex? Human pig titties. Would you have that, sex Patrick? if you? Uh, like it's a normal human, but uh, it's a pig vagina. Well, Pat, would I... you? Would you fuck it knowing it's a pig vagina? Like, hey, I got I, there was a pig human hybrid, and I got a vagina transplant. Well, for the podcast, of course off. I would, but in real life, no way. It's fucking gross. I mean, for the podcast. <laughs> I mean, hell yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, I'd fuck Always that been my pussy. dream. <laughs> I've hoped for nothing Ball more in my entire that. life. But what if what if slaughtering these pigs though, instead of just like squealing, it was just like human screams? Will <laughs> 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 home screams. What if they taste way more delicious after they're injected with the human cells? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this tastes a little zestier. Wow. <laughs> Mm. Cannibalism at its finest. Yeah. Well, Venezuelan. Mm. Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> this one tastes Portuguese. Yeah, I ate a uh, Venezuelan child one time on a vacation, and this is exactly like that moment. This reminds me of that, that old I person wonder, that I ate. I wonder if they've tried the other way around, because they, they, yeah. they said it was, a, well, it was a pig embryo with human cells added. I'm sure they've done they the reverse. they got to put some, yeah, some pig guarantee. cells into a human That's what embryo. Stalin did. That's what I was saying earlier. They would fucking do all that shit and inject each other with fucking semen and stuff or like artificial and insem- fucked up dirty shit. Uh, artificial insemination on like chimps with human sperm or vice versa and then they'll make them fuck each other. The fuck? True Good shit. Good lord. You all probably right. made them like do this shit while watching them behind a glass too. So you got oh, go do that shit. We're going to watch and document. Oh my god. Do you want to see if there's any... Uh, That's a nightmare. No. Bro. I don't want to see if there's videos? any video footage of this at all. Man or... on pig action, Pat, that you could uh, save no. for your spank bank uh, later on well, tonight, buddy? it's chimp. It's, Man he on said chimp. get it right, bud. Yeah, get it right. All right. Yeah, dude, I've seen the videos. Don't fuck <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it wrong now. Ew. What Pat's the got fuck? the URL link with all the numbers. Here, let me show you. HTTP dot dot slash slash fucking... Well, it looks Human like... Fucks chimp dot com. Looks like it's time for a segue. Yeah, All right. segue. Well, shoehorn right off a cliff here. Anyways. Well, uh, Brad so. does a, a, a Twitch channel where he talks about fucking human pig hybrids all day long. <laughs> you Brad, do? Yep. And you Marlene pl- teaches lessons on, all right, all right, on <laughs> human pig hybrid sexual <laughs> relations. <laughs> Anyways. We're here to educate so, you. Uh, Brad and I know each other from a long time. He was uh, the basis of Allies Aside for over oh, like five years or some shit. What's that, Pat? Too long. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a band. Um, but yeah, too, too fucking long. Um, and then we uh, started like hanging out all the time. But now Brad does all kinds of Twitch streaming now where he does a Rainbow Six Siege. What made you get into that? Uh, it's a fun game. It's it a, fun a fun game, game. Pat. It's tough. It's- yeah, it's fucking tough. tough. Pat has the hard hitting questions. What made you want to play yeah. video games for the first time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, you- I'm not. I'm not capable of answering really good interview questions. <laughs> answering well them, known. Pat, or asking them both. 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 So, uh, <laughs> do, is do you only uh, stream Rainbow Six? Uh, well, I just grown like really big in the community, so that's pretty much the only game that I can play that people actually watch me. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I play other things. Like I played like Apex. I played uh, Far Cry, the new one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I played a few other games, but like, I'll, like whenever I stream those, it's like I get like one person watching me. That one lonely guy, like, woo! That's about it. So everybody that's there is basically just for Rainbow Six reaction pretty much, and stuff yeah. like that. Where can they find all this? Uh, pretty much <coughs> Twitch.tv slash Beardo. And then if they go to uh, Beardo B E A R D O underscore R six, I'm assuming for Rainbow Six. Yeah. On Instagram, you can find all of his like highlight clips and stuff like that. Or if you just search yep. Beardo Twitch, you'll be able to find his Twitch channel, YouTube, and stuff like that. He's got neat pins. Yeah. yeah. Check this shit out. 
We've got awesome. Put it on my jacket. Hold that up to the camera. I don't know if it's in focus or I not. I can't tell either. But Is either way, go check out the shit. Can you yeah. just zoom in on the beard? It's That's all hat. Cody's department there. Going. How much merch you got, big guy? Uh, I have a whole web store. Uh, it's called like Tier One. It's on it's on my Twitter, but uh, yeah, I have a whole web store. So I have like hoodies, t-shirts, uh, hats. Hell, I'm wearing one right now. I like that. Um, I've got a bunch of merch, pretty much. How do you do commentary for a video game? Are you just in there like screaming, "Fuck, goddamn it, piece of shit!" Because that's me yeah, playing like, video games. Pretty much, your, yeah. your, your, your <laughs> people that are fucking watching. Fucking cheater, like, dude! He's a fucking cheater. Just slamming controllers. <laughs> God Fuck! damn it! <laughs> that would be me on Twitch the whole that's, fucking time. That's pretty much me. Actually, you'll get a lot of views just doing that. Getting just wrecked by a 13-year-old kid all day yep. long. Yep. And a lot of them now, because Rainbow Six Siege has become pretty big for hackers now. So, like, every, every fucking game, if I get killed... And it could be, like, just some guy walking up to me just shooting me in the head. And I just didn't realize he was there. I'd be like, that guy traced me. Fucking wall hacker! God damn it! I do, I do it every fucking game. Have you seen <laughs> so. hackers? Oh yeah. What, there, what do they a, do? There's a there's a hack going around right now where there's a teleport hack where at the beginning of the game they can teleport to where you are and just fucking slaughter your whole team. Like uh, a spawn kill. Kind of like a spawn kill but they oh, literally like, they literally shit. spawn behind you. Like when you when you spawn up or, or whatever. So like whenever you like spawn Or as wherever. I call it fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah pretty much. bullshit. <laughs> there's another one uh there was a guy who <laughs> Um, he could he could hack the game so like the first th uh, like thirty seconds of the game is pretty much uh, you like set up your your space where you're gonna fight at like if if you're on defense so like you know you're putting up all these reinforcements you're barricading these doors you're putting up your traps well during that time this guy could hack and he he would play a character called Sledge who has a sledgehammer awesome character who could walk around and just fucking sledge the shit out of you you know what I mean well he would do that during prep phase he'd be an invigil he'd he'd pretty much be invisible. And just be a sledgehammer running around and just smacking what? the shit out of people. Yeah, dude, it's, it's nuts. Hacking is so weird. It in video is. Games. Like, what's the end goal? Why, why would to you want to win the game? Pat, what are you talking about? Shit, but I mean, like, uh, well, it's so stupid. It's, why would you want to do it that way? It takes pretty the whole much people, fucking fun out. People want to get boosted to diamond. I don't know why to they would want to get boosted. I don't even diamond's care about the highest it's, tier. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's like the highest tier. It, you pretty much can play with pros and shit whenever you, if you're on PC. But you would cheat the whole time. But you would pretty much cheat the whole time. So it, it's kind of unfair. Well, maybe maybe they're doing it just to troll and just to hear people get raged. Well, they get I'm paid. Sure. They actually there's like boosting websites so you can pay hackers to boost you to diamond. Yeah, so, I believe that. Like yeah. like there was all of that shit with like Instagram and mm -hmm. Facebook too, where you could buy. Like likes and fucking uh, comments, and like sometimes you could buy things where they would go on your YouTube and say, "Oh, I have this as my ringtone," and have all kinds of weird comments and shit. You can pay yep. for that. I don't understand how they can get away with it. There's a lot of games out there that will basically uh, troubleshoot your your cheating by doing stupid things. Like if you cheat in like Metal Gear Solid Five, they'll give you make you wear a chicken hat or some shit the whole time, Ugh. and you look like an idiot. But like dumb shit like that. I just so think it's that just it's interesting. I just think that it's funny that Pat's like, "What's the end goal of cheating?" Like, I don't know. <laughs> well, Pat, I mean, you... a win, but like, <laughs> you fucking think the end goal is? It's just, it just seems like. It, I mean, hacking gets caught so easily now. Why would you want to do it? It's just like you're getting your account banned. You have to do more work to go yeah. and get the programming in there, and just to see if you can it, do like, it. Yeah, but I mean, there's difference between mods and just cheating in an online competitive match. That's, well, that's kind of shitty. I listen to a podcast called uh, Darknet Diaries. Shout out to them. They, they talk about hackers constantly. Like, Dude, hackers on cool. every platform. Like, e everything from credit card schemes to fucking, like, World of Warcraft scams. There was this dude that, uh, he basically figured out, his whole thing was figuring out how to do these, like, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, like, EverQuest, like, all these different, like, MMO RPGs and fucking, uh, what's the, Dota games that he could figure out how to hack the packets, the incoming packets that go to the server that basically tell the server to do different things. And he'd play around with them and try to do different things. And he and he explained his whole reason behind doing it was he gets bored with the game. He was like, I do everything in the game that I can do, and I'm just fucking bored, and I want to see how far that I can take this until they ban me, and then I'm on to another game after I get banned. And then he was like, and then I figured out a scheme to start making money, like to make infinite gold in this one realm, and then you can sell it on eBay, and then he made like a fuckload of money doing that. So there's a bunch of different motivations for hacking, but I think it's just... A lot of times it's just like dudes are bored. Like fuck it, I'm gonna see what I can do with this game. Like Pretty much, yeah. I've done everything that I can do in this fucking game. I play this game fucking 16 hours a day. I sleep. You dream pick up about another this game. shift. I sleep, dream about this game, wake <laughs> up in my mom's basement, and then play this game some more. And that's the whole fucking lifestyle of that. Like 
that hacker world sometimes. It's just but, uh, That's a sad, sad world. <laughs> it is. Yeah. What how, the fuck are you doing with your time? <laughs> the God. dude that I was talking about made bank on it. But uh, how often are you, are you experiencing like hackers or something like that? Um, last season was pretty bad. So like, I, I want to say like every five games we had to deal with somebody like wall hacking or something. Uh, they've put into some new like security features and shit and. This season hasn't been bad at all, so I, th- I think I've maybe faced maybe one this season, out of uh, I probably played forty games. And how so often are you matches. playing this? Like you play, how often like every day are you playing this? Mm, I mean, usually every day. Uh, some I, I I I'm trying to like since I've been getting so much like pretty much I've been kind of blowing up a lot more lately, so. I don't really need to do everything as much, so I don't need to stream as much anymore. As long as I have clips for Instagram, that's really the only thing that I need. Um, how many hours, though? I mean, like, oh, lots. I'm sure. I'm sure there's <laughs> lots. Uh, really, not that much anymore. Uh, I mean, thirty fr- hours. Friday, Friday and Saturday is probably sixteen hours. Yeah. I usually do eight hours each night. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't stream Sundays. I don't stream Tuesdays. I don't stream Thursdays. Wednesdays, I probably do five hours, and then Monday and yeah, Monday is probably like three hours. So I, I really uh, probably maybe twenty hours a week. Are you something. streaming that entire time that you're playing it, or are you just yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't play off stream. It gets boring. That makes sense. Yeah. Do you ever get like fucking bland? Does it ever feel bland playing it, Rainbow it does, Six all yeah. the time? What uh, what drives you? I mean, it's really the fans. The fans, know? yeah. Do so you, I, um, I've got I, I, I've got videos on here that I've hit hundred thousands of views. So like. Just trying to keep these people happy is really what keeps me going. Do you ever uh, like like take clothes off for for <laughs> like money on Twitch? <laughs> did, you, well, did you wear costumes if, or if, something? If, shit? I, I have I have worn costumes. Uh, I, I have a chicken uh, a chicken <laughs> costume that I've put on a few times. But no, I've never taken off clothes. Uh, actually, I think are you it, open? Uh, well, if you if you take off clothes on Twitch, you can get banned. Oh, uh, true. So, I don't want to get banned. Spoiled sports. If I paid like five hundred dollars, would I can I get a nipple flash? Yeah, well, yeah, okay. yeah, of course. <laughs> what if I made my whole like streaming thing about being the shirtless guy? Shirtless uh, Luke. I don't know. Shirt, I don't know. Shirtless if, Luke. 69. Shirtless Luke. I don't know if you can do that. I, I'm I'm pretty sure that as I said, they have the guidelines that they would. Like, if somebody reported you, you'd get banned instantly if you played with your shirt off. They probably have rules, like, yeah. against, like, gross, pasty, pale stuff on Scrop or so. <laughs> probably. Especially gingers. Yeah, yeah Luke, blind. if you were nice... <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, if Luke was nicely tanned and, like, he was all trim and, like, he had, like, a hard-ass body... Not spindly. And he didn't have that dirty red hair. <laughs> Ugh. Dirt. He wouldn't get banned, but, I mean, considering your current freckle situation, I have to say you're fucked, sir. Damn! <laughs> Rip. Hey, my my freckle count is under twenty thousand though. How do you know that? Do you yeah. realize that a real number? You saw the bitch? dots. I bet you got bored on acid one day and just started counting freckles. No, th- th- dude, these are one, uncountable. Two. Sorry, <laughs> they are uncountable. True shit. Do we yeah, have a uh, getting back to the Twitch thing though? What's a good clip that we could? Uh, we have your Instagram pulled up right uh, now. Just I something mean, to give our listeners a taste. Uh, scroll down. All right. Uh, go with the. You know what? Go with the let's go. Go down one right there, because I I I actually at the end it's a weird voice. So. Six thousand views. Fuck yeah. yeah. Get fucked. Get fucked. I will say I played with Brad on this game and he is a fucking monster. Hey, we can plant, boys. Damn, dude! I just watch you guide through that is <laughs> fucking nuts because that game is so fucking hard that game is a so fucking, hard yeah the whole maybe game maybe you're Actually, garbage but I, I am this Jaeger scared it. me go to that one real quick I think that one's got like 40,000 views which one uh, uh, the, the, this Jaeger scared me yeah there you go <clears throat> I literally just repelled up and just killed like almost their whole team. For our listeners uh, no. that might not be familiar with Rainbow Six, it's a uh, it's team, a game team based search and destroy. Yeah, you just uh, yeah. it's a first Pretty person much. shooter. As soon as you die, you're out for the rest of the match. It's like four v four, five v five, five v five, and they just uh, go the out and search and destroy. Last man standing. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's awesome. It's a not, fun game. It's, it's hard, a lot though. of fun. It's hard as fuck. Okay, and then in this clip, just to set it up, he's repelling up the side of a wall. And while you're repelling up, there's uh, closed out windows because every game starts with like one team is inside the building, the other team is outside the building, and you have to basically, if you're inside the building, you're defending the building, you can build walls and like 
things to keep the people from getting inside. And then uh, the, he's re he's obviously on the other team that's outside the building. He's rappelling up the wall, and he's uh, looking through a scope of his gun into the windows and stuff like that. This description is just for the audio listeners. I know. It was perfect, actually. All right. Here we go. So he's he just marks one, two, and then as you do it, you get a count that goes, uh, it basically tells you how many people are playing on each team, and the count just keeps going lower. So first it was 5v5, or uh, 4v5, mm -hmm. he kills one, it goes 4v4, he instantly kills another one, it goes 4v3, he reloads, he scopes back in, kills ah! another one, 4v2, ah! dude jumps out the fucking Yo! window, and then he marks the last dude at the last moment and just fucking, like, destroys him. That and dude that, scared me. <laughs> Are you a real commentator? <laughs> I've just got to, like, I've played this game before, and it's a fucking son of a bitch. So just watching you do that just so quickly, like, you got to have those, like, I don't know if fast twitch muscle is the right fucking expression for this. Reflexes, you fucking dummy. <laughs> fast twitch muscles? Fuck you, Luke. There is a such thing as fast, fast twitch muscles, you muscles? son of a bitch. I'm going to look this up right now. I mean, it's you're called be reflexes. In... Hold on, Luke. Fast twitch muscles. It was dude. actually the first, uh... First suggestion. Eat dicks and die, Fast Luke. What is yeah. that? What is that, Luke? Can you say it for our listeners, sir? Fast twitch muscles. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, now. Suck a dick and die. Back Rip. to the game. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, so uh, this game's hard as fuck, dude. Every time that I play it, I just get murked in the first, like, I'm the first person to die. I'm the first person you killed and all those people, like, every single time. I'm, like, I'm staring at a wall. I'm, like, how do these controls work? Ooh, I can do a drum. Bam, I'm dead. And then you're over here, like, you know how all the controls work perfectly and doing that? Like, you're putting some fucking serious time to know how to do shit like this. Yeah, I've been playing since the beginning. So, 2015, the game came out in, like, December 2015. What are you going to do when the online servers are irrelevant? Uh, are you scared play about Rainbow that? Rainbow 7, you fucking I mean, well, dummy. Okay, so Ubisoft has a plan right now that they want to make this game a 10-year-long game. So what they want to do is they want to have a, they want to come out with 100 operators. They're only at like 47 right now, or 40-something. And eventually, they're going to probably, because of how big this game became, they're probably going to end up coming out with a Rainbow Six Siege 2. <laughs> I bet. So, when that comes out, I've got another ten fucking years in that. By that time, I'll be too old to fucking play. Or I'll be like that grandpa... Have you guys seen the Twitch grandpa guy? No. There's a there's a Twitch there's a Twitch streamer who's a grandpa. He's about 90, like 85 years old. Badass. And I think his name is Grandpa. Grandpa Gamer. <clears throat> Pat, the thing's still fucking up, and I replaced the nope, it's you. batteries. But he's you. not He's me. actually Son really fucking it. good. Grandpa Aka. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be known that Cody doesn't know how to spell at all. Uh, Cody is there, easily there the least Gaming. intelligent on the, on, the, on the show. This guy's actually not... He's like 80-something years old, and he's actually not bad at Apex Legends. He's pretty Don't good. Do you that. like that game? Yeah, it's okay. I, I, I liked it when it first came out. I was really good at it, and then the more... I played it, the more I just started sucking. Can I confess something on the podcast? That battle royales are no. terrible. Oh, they are terrible. I bought, I bought the battle royals. pass. No. Did you? I spent oh. money on a free game. What is the battle pass? Oh. You get like a bunch of extra stuff, like extra characters and like you, other you get rewards. Skins. Stupid shit. Oh, I, I bought it because you got some sweet red camo for was, your gun. Well, the way I think Did of it, you get that new operator. Yeah, which one? His name is Octane. Big Dick Johnson. He does like healing <laughs> shit and he's really fast. <laughs> oh, but okay. Um, okay. no, the reason he's that a sweet bulge. <laughs> he's real I hot. Paid money to have him. Real hot. Mm. He's got a shirt off. Daddy. Hot. He's got a big gun. Keep going. Describe the <laughs> perfect man, Pat. So, anyways, I just think the justification for it is just like if I'm playing it like enough and it's a free game, why not spend like ten dollars on it? I spend sixty dollars on a game. Sometimes I won't even play for more than two hours. Right. Why does it make right. you upset though? Because I, me? as you were, as as he was admitting it, you were groaning. What's the well? Like, why would you want to I mean, spend money? It's microtransactions. I just honestly I, I don't, I don't, know. I don't mind buying stuff in game. Hell, I've spent thousands of dollars on Siege. On buying Thousands? Things things? That, yeah, I've spent a lot. What are, what are you spending it on? What? Literally anything that comes out on the game, I buy. Skins. <laughs> Unless it looks like ass, which is about fil forty percent. About forty percent of the stuff that comes out looks like ass. But back to the question, though, anyway. what's the issue with the battle pack? Uh, he just rolled his eyes at me when I spent ten dollars on the game. He just spent told me he spent thousands. He almost quit the podcast and walked off. Because it's off. battle royale. What? <laughs> because it's a battle royale. This game sucks. Yep. Yep. Like I played yep. Apex for like three weeks and then I got bored of it. Why don't you guys like battle royale? It's just not fun. Out of curiosity. Because they they don't offer anything. 
because it's you can, so it's like an open world. That, no, you it's have not. teams. It's no, a it's uh, not. search and destroy. Yeah, it is. I know no, it's a big ass fight. World. Yeah, I'm, but then it's 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 encircled with a a, a storm and a yeah. ring that you have to stay in. It's not open world. Dude, it's I, always arena. Dude, I have no stake in this fight, but to say that it has nothing to offer, it's a new play style for sure. Fucking whack. It's no, got fifty million subscribers or like players on just Apex care. alone. So if you don't like it, it's fine. But there's plenty of things I'm sure that we all don't like that just aren't for us. It doesn't mean that they're not a thing that people like. That's I'm allowed to be angry and opinionated. That's fair. It makes a better podcast. Yeah. It does. You're right. I don't want you to lose these opinions. I just want to argue all right, well, with you. Then shut like... your bitch mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, I don't mind that he he bought this stuff. Like as I said, I, Apex is a I good do. game. I just it, I, I just I just want to make noises. I guess. Nah. Ugh. 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 Piece of shit. Anything Pat says. <laughs> yeah, so I. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. He's talking. Oh, this guy. Common. The Very developers. This guy. The developers of Dark Souls and Bloodborne said they want to make a fucking BR, dude. That's stupid. Of course you it know, is. Because it's it should a don't dumb be shooters. fucking genre. Nope. Should be just shooters. Uh, you see, I do like the fact that, uh, like, okay, so originally it was they they came out with Titanfall, right? They came out with Titanfall two. I didn't care for the games that much, but the fact that Apex kind of goes off, like it's in the same realm, I love that. I love that it's they cool. did that. It's cool. No Titans, though. No, exactly. And that, that's the problem. Exactly. There should be Titans. With no Titans, it's advanced <clears throat> warfare. Pretty much. That's all it but is. But that's why it's called something different than Titanfall. But it's called if, Apex if, it's same, if it's in the same realm, like it should have Titans. You're right. It's Exactly. If You're it, right. If it's going to be in the same realm, have Titans. If it's not going to have Titans, uh, call it something completely fucking right. new. What, Cody? I have a completely off topic. Uh, it's about it's about the Twitch. Let me tell you how fucking wrong you are. It's all right? from Marlene. Let's though. hear it. Oh. How many times? You're wrong. How many times? You're a wrong. Night, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Luke. How many times <sighs> a night are you? And be honest. How many times a night while he's Twitch streaming, are you just sitting there on the edge of like the couch watching him Twitch stream, like? <sighs> I, I'm I'm busy watching R. Kelly documentaries. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Because I could just imagine me doing this and Allie sitting in the corner with her fucking hand on her head, just looking at me like I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna break up this motherfucker tonight. Like this motherfucker just <laughs> over here playing video games. Like uh, I've got a whole ugh. game room that's like separate. So like one of my bedrooms, actually your old yeah. bedroom is my game room. Oh, you moved it. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. So I've got a whole game room. So she's got her own like music room where she works on writes songs and stuff like that. That's usually what she's doing whenever like i usually don't stream when she's home unless it's weekend oh okay. weekend i'll stream when she's home like obviously saturday or friday and saturday i do all nighters so i'll play you know i start at nine at night and i'll get off at four or five in the morning um that's about the only time i stream when she's she's at home so okay. that's like, probably if, the best if, time to stream yeah probably I didn't that, interrupt you. That makes more sense. You made me lose my train of thought. My you were saying that you only stream when she's <laughs> not at home, except for Friday and Saturday. Right, 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 right. So when I am streaming, she's usually like she's obsessed with documentaries. So she's either watching Arcade. that fucking pimple poppers, which is disgusting. You watch that? Uh, I love it. What do you she's love about it? About it? Oh, I don't know. I just love it. Have a Reese's. <laughs> <laughs> we got Pat drunk, and now he's gonna. I've had some bullet bourbon tonight, guys. All right, keep Thanks, going with Cody. the thought, and then we'll go into the pimple yeah. popper thing. Yeah. Let's keep on track here. If I we think can. I'm done. I forgot. All right, it's all good. Lost all right. the it's all good. Thought. You go all nighters. You go hard in the paint. Mm. Check out that Twitch stream. But what mm. what alcohol what did we have tonight, Cody? Bullet bourbon. Sponsored by uh, Bullet Ride. Not really sponsored by them. We're actually sponsored so by, by Neil, uh, Neil, Neil to no one. Because those are the glasses we're drinking in. You you ruined my setup. You son of a bitch. I was getting there. Yeah, Cody. Fuck you face. It. What do you fucking mean? bitch? He gave Luke bullet bourbon. Now he's super aggressive. Like Luke's a like minor aggressive usually, but now he's. Like, I'll spit in your face right now. Major aggressive. Say I won't. He'll spit white Reese's <laughs> you in won't. my face. It'll be a better podcast episode if you will. So just. I'll Will close. you spit in his face right now? Don't please, but if you do, I'll take it. <laughs> it's the He'll only. Take it. <laughs> it's the only time I'll let another grown man spit in my face, and I won't fucking destroy you. But like, if you do it, I know that it's for the podcast. But like, I'd poke you. All right, you Cody, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I love and respect you too much. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. I, I feel uh, Pat over here like, yeah, me too. Gulp. I feel like, I feel like <laughs> scoping it back down. I feel like podcast, you're not even going to expect it. This is where I was like, <laughs> 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 <You're> like <laughs> <laughs> it would be so fucking funny. I'd, I'd like get my fist clenched, ready to kill Patrick, but then I'd be like, that's ah, for the podcast. Right, for the don't show. Kill, I feel don't like for murder show. Pat. All I feel right. like spitting <laughs> on someone just has to be without a doubt one of the biggest insults you could ever like do to I'd someone. Agree. 
like not even verbally or the middle finger, nothing like tops getting spat on. Like if a dude, yeah, came especially up, in your face, like, yeah, like gave you like a mean ass. I'm gonna beat your ass, look and then spit like in your face or on your shirt. Like, it's what if they spit on your dick? Oh well, then you yeah, spit on your, dick. Oh, well, yeah, you spit wanna, on your like, crotch you wanna, region. <laughs> you want to just meet them somewhere private? For what if you bit, pop you know a pimple on someone? Like you know what? Fuck you, and you just pop a pimple on them real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you just come up all heated, yo. <laughs> get all close to him. <laughs> What are you doing, man? Ugh. Get up! What the fuck? Get off me! Yeah, Cody, would you hit someone if they popped a pimple on you? I'd beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'd probably I would. have to do it twice just because they acknowledged, <laughs> they, they pointed out that I had a pimple that I was trying to hide. Yeah. You know what I mean? You so made I, me I'd do have this. to hit them once, and then when they actually pop it, I'd hit them again. Well, look, look what you're continuing to do. Then I'd thank them afterwards. Oh so, my God. so why do you watch that? It's it's great. I don't what? Know. Why is it great? Closer to the mic, Marley. Oh, I don't know. It's like uh, I don't know. It's really great. Just so watching like, the, the the thing come out. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so wait, it's satisfying for the pus to like just yeah. pop out of the pimple sort of situation. Have you seen the big ridiculous ones where pull they're up the like camera. the dude? It's been pull up the camera. Yeah. I want to make sure it's right. Pull up the camera. Don't let me interrupt you. Did our drunken girlfriends hit it or something? <laughs> Jesus. Pat, we have to mid episode fix the camera because we got our girlfriend's drunk. No, my girlfriend's not even drunk. It's just your drunk girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel. She giggles me. <laughs> innocent. Little innocent angel over there. While we're interrupting for this, do you need another drink? Come up and get it if you do. You want some bullet bourbon? Alright, alright. Back to it though. Have you ever Anyways, seen the uh the Why? Have you ever seen the ridiculous videos of like the, the they I don't know if the captions are real, but it always says like Pimple hasn't been popped in 15 years or whatever what? the fuck. And they pop it and it's just like a mountain of pus. Like so much pus that you're like, dude, are you going to die in this <laughs> video? <laughs> oh, yes. How the fuck yes. does your body have to, And you can just sit there and watch it without vomiting all over yourself. They, yep. they, yep. Had, a, they had a video. Oh, uh, there, was, yeah. there was one that she was watching that I, I walked in on. I was doing a haircut and I came out and she was watching this thing. And this guy had a big fucking like... Thing right here and they fucking like knifed it with a sword Ugh. they didn't really knife it with a sword but it was just like it looked it looked like fucking this like fatty tissue and it's shit. a lipoma a, okay a lipoma <laughs> but yeah they just fucking sliced it she up knows the medical terms <laughs> right that's how much this she's watched i gotta come home for, to this shit sometimes she have to a oh big exploding God. you walk in the door like hey honey and you see a big exploding pimple my well no it was funny because my client was just like he looked up he goes oh pimple poppers i'm like <laughs> Seriously? God damn it! <laughs> Have you seen those uh, videos of like people like popping horse horse cysts or anything? I can't talk. Yeah, dude, horse I've seen a couple cysts. of those. Horse those are, cysts. Those That's are, a hard thing to say. Hard, hard. Horse cysts. Try saying that. Horse cysts. And don't worry. <laughs> on the after the break, we'll, shit. we'll get into your music stuff, Marlene. Yeah, I know we're gonna our, get there. I, I know our listeners are like. Track. Our listeners are wait. What? She's a pimple popping expert? No, she's a musician. She's very talented. She's got music. We'll play it after the break because we're coming up on it. But before the break, we're gonna play this horse cyst removal. You uh, ready for this, fellas? Uh, Dude, she's licking her lips right now. We're all like, <laughs> everyone else is like. I think she's got a boner, actually. Everyone else is like, fuck, dude, I can't do this right now. I'm going to puke up my bullet bourbon. She's over here like, excellent. <laughs> like, Mr. Skinner and shit. Slow clapping. I've seen this one before. This is horrible. All right, let's go. You've seen this? Yeah, it's Dude, bad. this is fucking... Why is this a fucking thing? Is right. this like Q when he was like obsessed with vacuum cleaners? So it's a, it, I mean, it's he a still video. Is obsessed with yeah, it. he stole my vacuum cleaner when he Did came he? by. He came by. And, um, we're not. Um, we're gonna get back into this. But he came by and he stole my vacuum cleaner and cleaned it <laughs> thoroughly, and it brought it back. <laughs> Anyways, like, so he great dude. He was a great guest, but he at the end of the episode he was like, "Your vacuum is dirty as fuck. I can't." He was like. Like, I can't <laughs> fucking believe you would let your vacuum get this out of control, Pat, just shit and shaking his head and shit. Like, took it. dude, what? And then oh he was like, God. I'm taking the, I'm taking it with me to clean it and shit. And what then am I fucking, supposed to do? And he actually brought it back. Pat dude. was looking at Rachel, though, like, uh, Rachel, uh, because he no. was like, I don't know, dude, uh, uh, I don't know if you could take it, uh, let's ask, uh, Rachel. And then he put it all on Rachel instead of just saying no himself. <laughs> and Rachel was like, what the fuck, Pat? Yeah. Uh, I don't care. Yeah, take it, I guess. What the fuck? Why is this a question of my life right now? I didn't think it was coming back, to All be right. honest. All right, back to it, though. Let's he go. drops it off He drops it off the next day. Oh, my God. Clean as a whistle. Anyways. No one knows what, what we're fuck? talking about. If, if you listen to the Qbert Cider episode of the podcast, Good you'll episode. understand more. Anyways, back to the pimple popping. So this is, uh, if you want to see it on YouTube, massive horse cyst. 
back abscess removal. It's just two uh. pairs of like uh, nitrile gloves on this big <laughs> mass of fucking lumpy black and brown tissue. And it looks like a little vagina crater is in there <laughs> that he's just fingering away. All right, he's let's finger see what blast in this cyst hole. Looks like Luke's chicken. about. Luke's already in pass out mode. Watch, come here, Luke. Luke. Watch this shit. <laughs> this Holy shit! Keep your eyes on this shit. Luke, come here. Don't be a puss. Dude, this is fucking disgusting. <laughs> it looks like fucking slushy uh, coming out of a bodily wound. It's bad. It's really bad. All right, so they're Hi, dumping. Barf. I wonder what it smells like. They're dumping oh, some type of nasty. fluid into the wound while they while they pop it, and it just like this fucking bloody yellow white liquid oozing out of it. Luke, Luke, look at it. Watch. Luke. Oh my god, this is so fucking gross. <laughs> This is powerful. Alright, it's just it's really it's really blurry. Can I get a more high definition one to really make Luke puke? Ugh! Stop! I've been drinking bullet bourbon! They're like pulling like worms out of it now. There's just I don't Shut know. Shut the a, fuck up. Are you I serious? Saw, I once saw a couple months ago actually, um, <laughs> It was a video of it was a, a cow Break uh, from this. from the side view, and there was like like four huge like like cysts on its back, and they were just like slowly puncturing them. And yeah, we certain... played it on the bastard sermon. That's what yeah, we saw. that's it. Oh my, that yeah, I knew I saw it. So <laughs> <laughs> here the in the studio, fool. dude. That shit made me want to vomit. Rachel has had some horses. Like she's owned a couple. Did they ever have fucking cysts like this? Did they go to pop? Come to the mic, Rachel, before Come you answer here. the question. Pat's like, oh, I know you don't have a mic on you, and I know you're directly in front of the camera you're, you're going to bump into again. Episode, but I want, I want to hear. Yeah, come over here, Rachel. Yes, I had a horse, and yes. Closer to the mic. Yes, he had an abscess. On how, his ear, or not his ear, but on his neck and on his foot at one point. How did that shit go? Did you have to pop it yourself, or was there an, an expert pimper pop, or pimple popper that came on? Pimple no. popping professional. Normally, you just have your vet do it. They'll take like a scalpel and they'll, you know, lance it. And you mean pop you just get in there out. with two fingers and one eye closed and like your tongue out in the side of your mouth? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The like aftercare that. for abscesses is pretty miserable, though. Usually, like on the skin, it was fine, but in the hooves, it was really annoying. Like lots of like uh, Epsom salt rinses and stuff like that. Was it mm-hmm. fucking disgusting to look at? Like, what was it like? Like looking at these did fucking. You st- did you throw the horse out? I would throw it yeah, right I in the threw trash. It straight in the garbage. You have to straight, throw away I, the horse I, after. I took it to the dumpster and I tossed it in. I would have treated it like a racehorse that broke his leg and just Did ended shot it up, it? shotgunned it right in its big dumb horse face, and then, well, uh, I have the gardener clean that day. up. I don't mean I don't have them anymore, so maybe I did do that. No, nope. we'll never know. We've had Rachel on so many times on this podcast, and never once did I know she's owned horses. How yeah, I didn't never know either. I think it's time for a Rachel Morrison return podcast. Soon enough. All right, uh, after the break, we're going to get into Marlene Mendoza and uh, videos of the week. We'll be back, fuck faces. Peace, Woo-hoo. bitch. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, really quickly, before we jump into anything, uh, we've... We very briefly mentioned that we have a sponsor, and that's Neil to No One, or KTNO. It's our dude, Anthony Tank Mansfield. Uh, he's been on several times. He's got the glass that Pat's holding up is uh, some of the glassware that you can get from the glass that Marlene is drinking out of and Brad is drinking out of. You can uh, also purchase from him. He's got all kinds of cool shit. Enamel pins, shirts. I'm Stickers. Wearing one of his. You probably can't see it on the video, but I've got a Neil to No One shirt. Uh, just go to his website or go to his Instagram. You'll find his shit. Just search Neil to No One. You'll find it instantly. Buy some fucking art. Fantastic dude. Fantastic sponsor. All right. I love him to death. Speaking of art, Marlene here. We're going to get into a little bit of this information. Marlene is is a phenomenal guitarist and singer and she has fantastic music on youtube she's a teacher we're going to get a little bit into that marlene is it okay if we play this song a battle between two lesser evils yeah that's fine let's fucking play it so this is your official video on youtube if you guys want to look it up like pat said she's uh, a one-man band subscribe to marlene m-a-r-l-e-n-e mendoza m-e-n-d-o-z-a on youtube Hit that subscribe button, and here's a little taste of her music and video for our uh, YouTube listeners and watchers.
little taste of it. Just something so that you guys can like, get that your ears around that shit, shit out. out. That was Fucking awesome. Great. <laughs> so that's you on guitars, and that's also you on vocals. Yes. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? Ooh, forever. Um, well, I've been playing guitar since like 13, when I was 13. So that's like 15, 10, 15. Who, how, how'd you get into it? How? Uh, was it school or family or curious? No, um... Like I, I was listening to rock music. I yeah. love rock music, so I've been listening to it. like I really want to play guitar. So I just self-taught myself, and then the rest is history. Okay. Yeah. You were in a band called uh, Varsity back in New York. Is that correct? Mm, yeah. So um, that was signed. Were you guys signed? Um, we were under Artery Management. Artery, Artery Foundation, Management. Yeah. Yeah. But no, we weren't. Excited. No, <laughs> you guys were super dope too back in the day. Yeah. So, uh, how long were you doing that for? You were touring and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, two years or so. It's been a while, so I don't remember. Do you have a current project that you're involved in right now? Just myself. So I'm, what we just listened yeah, to. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing now. Who are the side people? Are they just like uh, studio musicians that you hire to like accomplish your goal that you wrote? Um. So I write the whole thing. So I write the drums, the bass, everything, and then in the studio, either I'll track it, except drums. So I don't track drums at all. Um. I just have like a studio musician do it. Right. She does know how to play drums though. <laughs> I do. So tracking the drums, I mean, you're talking like six mics that you got to figure out how to incorporate into that and master, right? So it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Mm. Too much shit. Just hire somebody to get that taken care of. Pretty much, yeah. Right. But so you're writing all this and like, do you actually like write this out in like Guitar Pro or like, do you have a tablature program that you do it in Um, or what is the... Guitar Pro or like, I'll like record it myself at my house and then send it to like someone to like mix it and master it or someone that do you can just help me with it. are you do you have access to everything that you need like drums bass i mean you've got microphones for vocals and just like a recording setup for everything yeah that's fucking awesome that's yeah. really cool like and you said you weren't tracking the drums yourself so i'm assuming like you probably play it out to get the beat but like if you're sending it sending it somewhere do you just like do you do like a, a midi track of the drum set and send it off to some dude to actually play it yeah and get yeah. it tracked yeah pretty much yeah okay that's fucking awesome and then uh, so much work <laughs> i know that's so much is, work uh, so i can much. only imagine it's to be a composer nice. you're like the same shit that like like all the classic composers are you, you don't see a lot of modern ones that are just writing entire symphonies which is essentially yeah, what you're doing like pretty much it's it's a lot it's a lot of work but it's worth it though. How long does it take you to make it like a song like uh, like a battle between two lesser evils? How long did this song take for you to like be like okay I'm ready to make a music video off of this? Ah uh, well, uh, this song was actually something I wrote like a long time ago, and it was like not it wasn't it didn't end up like this. It was called the same thing, and it was like years ago. And then I um after like. The whole band thing. I just I was like, let me re- let me go back, look at my stuff, and then I'm like, oh, I like this one. And then it kind of went from there, but the end product didn't sound like that, so it sounds way better. <laughs> than and that's is, just but. a product of getting it in a studio's hands and a producer's hands that can like um, modify things or. Yeah, and like um, like it's different when like things like come to life and like when you put in the lyrics and everything. It's like, totally. oh, okay, it's, it could change, you know, when you're in the studio or, like, rewriting stuff. I absolutely agree. Yeah. Anytime, like, we ever wrote anything, uh, ever, we would go to the studio and it would turn out completely different. Right. Like, it would just be like, oh, I did not like the way that thought out at all. Like, this vocal pattern doesn't sound good with this. Uh, this guitar doesn't sound good. This bass doesn't sound good. So, like, usually when you're at the studio, you're basically rewriting the whole song almost. P- but, like, much, with, yeah. like, the bass. But you have so much... I feel like when you're in the studio, you have just so much more inspiration there. What is it right. that makes you do that, though? Like, what's what's the reason that you would come it's in there with simple. a finished song and be like, fuck, dude, this doesn't work now, even though it's, we've practiced it's, this together? It's very simple. Like, you, you write... You think of something in your head, but it's easier said than done. You know, when you actually, like, oh, well, I like this song. Here's my, like, for example, vocal pattern. Let's say a lead guitar. Right. Like, it sounds cool in my head, but then when you actually execute it, it doesn't sound right at all. Right. So it's then like, you, you change it up. So it, it's, it, it changes. Uh, any Anybody, uh, you work in the studio, it just 
lyrics can change, guitar riffs can change, drumming pattern can change. Like maybe someone, like maybe like the studio guy wrote like a cool drum <laughs> The fill. producer, yeah. right. And, and that's like, rare to like, find. Oh, wait, let's do this instead. So, yeah. I always liked uh, working with producers that actually gave their input on the music rather than just say, oh, well, I don't care if it was a bad idea or not. I'll just record it because you're paying me. Yeah. Um, so I always think that's it's very it's a privilege to find a producer or someone that records music that could give you ideas. And mm-hmm. I'm sure you're used to that, too. Yeah. Do you have upcoming like announcements for any type of like, I don't know, releases of music or anything mm-hmm. that you want to drop here? Not yet. No, no. Not okay. Yet. <laughs> but I am working on on stuff. So. Um, so follow her on YouTube. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no drops, but is there a time frame? Like, what? When can somebody find mm. some new shit? Like the potential? summer. Just put it, you don't have to no dates or nothing. Just like Pat said, May- like yeah, a maybe season. maybe the summer, maybe. All right, everybody, keep an eye on that. Yeah. Really yeah. fucking subscribe good subscribe to her on YouTube. <laughs> also on Facebook. Also Later. on Facebook for sure. Instagram and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so like, is there, if all the instruments, obviously like guitar and whatnot, um, would you say guitar is like your favorite instrument to play? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the instrument? Like, is there any instruments that you've always wanted to learn how to play? Like a tuba or anything? Or a violin? Mm. Or uh, a tuba? I got one. Is it the skin flute? What? <laughs> the skin flute? <laughs> <food? laughs> <laughs> <laughs> brought back the skin flute. Oh, Babe, I think you already know how to play that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I've always wanted to learn how to play the banjo. So. Oh, banjo yeah, was supposed yeah. to be a whole other fucking instrument. <laughs> yep. I've always wanted to learn how to play it. Never bought one, and I've always wanted to. Why don't you buy one? I'm sure, I'm sure Marlene could pick it up quite easily and teach you. <laughs> yeah, she probably could. Um, I money the the ukulele. I just started playing that, and I like already know how to so play she, it. She started so you're playing like a it fucking within a week. <laughs> she started playing the ukulele, and within a week, she started giving lessons to kids at her school that she's teaching at. You're, that's nuts. That's actually I know, that's what I said. <laughs> that, that's like real virtuoso shit. Like that's what Sounds Mozart like was able to do. If you're yeah. gonna compose shit, like no bullshit. Like if you. If you could jump on one instrument, jump to another, like understand, are you a theory person? Like, do you know a lot about, so you know, like yeah. actual like musical theory that goes into all the like different instruments. So you can kind of like write across that because you just know that a different instrument's going to be like, uh, it might be a different clef that you're playing in. This yeah, one's in yeah. G, this one's in whatever the fuck going, going on and so forth. So you could apply those concepts to different instruments and just like, okay, how does this one like. I blow here, I press these holes down, okay, that's how you make that note, and then you keep going, and then fucking you got it, and then plucked instruments are all similar and shit like that. You could just yeah. apply that shit. Not everybody can do that. That's some impressive shit. Like, I am I can play guitar, and I can, I mean, anybody that can play a guitar can thumb around on a bass. I can't really play bass. If you can play guitar, you can it. play bass, I but would that's say. It. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a finger picker. I can't sit over there and do some less Claypool shit and fucking, can, like, the, the back strings, and forth. The on strings the... are so thick on a bass that you can, like, it's just, like, about your reach on your hand. My point, though, is that, like, I can play, like, one instrument and I can sort of kind of play another one. You're over here teaching ukulele, like Brad said to people after you pick it up for, like, how long were you playing it before you started teaching week? lessons? It was about that's a week. That's nuts. Like a week or so. And you, you haven't mastered at that point. Like, it's uh, that's, that's impressive shit, like. You're doing some virtuoso, like... I know it's hard to clap yourself on the back. That's why I'm trying to do it right now, because that's fucking cool as shit. It's like, super cool that you're you. able to teach music in general. Like, there's people out there that have dreams to, like, play music for a living or whatever, and just, you know, make some... Just know how to have a creative outlet and be good at it, and you, you know? And you can do it so easily. And not only that, <laughs> but you are the teacher that's going to bring them to great things. Yeah. You're going to bring them to great great music, hopefully, one day. Who knows? Maybe the person you're teaching now could be, like, a famous person. Who knows? Someone could also just, like, write something that's for someone that's dying or for love or anything, you know? That's crazy. She's got some really good students. That, you are mm-hmm. teaching really passion good. and encouraging it, and that is that is fucking awesome. Thank you. Super I a, cool. <laughs> I had a good guitar instructor, and that's what made me want to keep playing and like learning harder shit. Like, Because when I first started playing guitar, I was self-taught for all of a month, and I was like, I want a guitar. My mom bought me one, and my grandma was nice enough to pay for like lessons for about a year. And I went to Buddy Rogers every day with this fucking hippie dude. That Wait, like, which Buddy Rogers? Uh, the one in uh, Galbraith Road. Down Yo, there was it uh, Will? Will? Yeah, yeah. Will. I had Will as a bassist. No, uh, bassist. what? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I love that dude. I love. He him. had that weird like indie rock band that he was in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the uh, what the fuck are you they called? The old Buddy Rogers was like 
Yo, he's talking about Will. <laughs> was it the Almighty Get Down? Was that the name of their band? I think so. so. I did yeah, an yeah. art show at the Thompson. This is what I was going to get to. Though. This dude inspired me for... I'll, I'll get back to, to that point. But uh, uh, this dude inspired me to just like... I would go in there and be like, I, here's what I want to play. Like I heard that Eruption's the hardest solo you could play. By that point in my guitar thing, it wasn't. I'd just been watching a lot of VH1 classic, listening to old guitarists <laughs> and shit. There was way harder shit to learn than fucking stupid Eruption. Like some jazzy rock and roll thing that I'd even and Hanley had created but like I wanted to learn that because I heard it was the hardest thing from these like pro guitarists and I brought it to him as a joke and then because he told me bring in a couple songs that you want to learn and we'll break this down and I'll start teaching them to you and I'll start like showing you pieces of it and I was like ah eruption like I thought we'd laugh together and he was like okay and I was like hold on what and he was like yeah you can do that and I was like I can't five 13 years old I can't learn he's like yes you can he was like, well, that's the first one you're learning. He was like, don't even pull out the other CDs. I'm like, you fucking for real? And this dude just like sat down and broke down to me riff by riff what Eddie Van Halen was doing. He was like, let me, I know part of it already. I, I can show you the tap parts and stuff like that. And then there was at that time limited YouTube resources. So I'm like going on YouTube, finding these like weird videos on how to like teach myself different ultimate riffs guitar. that he's doing and shit. And yeah, like ultimate, ultimate guitar, guitar was available. And it was like... Will got me to this point to where I felt like confident enough to like actually explore and play shit. But then I lost contact with him for years. Only had a year worth of lessons, probably until I was fourteen, right? And then I'm playing. The, I'm not playing a show, but I was uh, doing a live art performance where I was doing a big live art painting, like some five foot fucking painting and shit. Super and then, dope artist. Yeah, shout out. Thank to you. you. Well, I wasn't saying yes to the really super dope artist. artist, but I appreciate you guys. Uh, but uh, doing He's this all right. Like, Thanks, Luke. That's what, <laughs> that's how I feel about myself. But yeah, whatever. I I do art. That's all that I want to say about it. I'm but kidding. You're incredibly talented. Shut the fuck up, Luke. I don't want to hear that shit. Quit Anyways, sucking this dick. Trying to get to the point. Yeah, uh, shut up, Luke. Doing this live painting, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's banned. I'm sorry, Will, if I'm getting this wrong, but uh, I think it's the Almighty Get Down. They're like super funky, super like classic rock mixed with like funk music mixed with like just like they're having fun up there. And he's just like getting it on guitar, just effortlessly like just playing. It's not complicated, but it's soulful. And I appreciate that more than people fucking sweet picking arpeggios because I'm just like, I, I, yeah, I get it. Ingve Malmsteen, it's fine. But I want to see somebody up there just like loving playing the guitar, like just making love to that guitar with their fingers and shit. All sensual like, and he's up there doing that and crushing it. And the whole time I'm watching him while I'm painting, I was like, God damn, this dude looks fucking familiar. Like, this dude looks so fucking familiar. And then he gets off on stage and he goes to take a piss. And I was like, Dude, you did a fucking great job tonight. And I was like, Uh, and then it clicked in my brain. I was like, Wait, dude, you're a really good guitarist. Have you ever taught guitar before? And he was like, Yeah, man. Actually, I taught guitar for years. <laughs> and I was like, Yeah, dude. Did you teach a Buddy Rogers? And he was like, "Actually, man, yeah. How did you know that?" And I was like, "I, I was like, imagine me with hair down to because I had short hair at this time. Imagine me with hair down to my nipples and a little bit thinner." He was like, "Oh shit, Cody, dude, what's up, <laughs> man?" And we hugged each other. I was like, "What the fuck?" Added him on Facebook. This is probably like five years later. That was your bass teacher, though. Yeah, I, I will say this: he was not a very good bass teacher. He was a great guitar. Teacher. He was very good at guitar, and I was not a very good student either. So, <laughs> yeah. so I didn't learn much from him. But when I did have him, he was he was definitely a killer guitarist, though. Yeah. I don't know how he played on bass. I didn't even know he taught bass lessons, but that dude was He phenomenal. played on bass like he played guitar. I mean, he just, it, it was... Shreds. I mean, it wasn't necessarily Soulful. shredding. I feel like when a guitarist plays bass, they play fucking guitar on bass. That's what I do. That's yeah. why I said that I'm not a bassist. That's why, that's, that's, all that's my do. biggest problem with, like, guitarists playing bass. And that's how I felt his lessons were. So I, that's why I didn't really stick around too long. But yeah, he was the only uh, music teacher that I've ever had. So, yeah, yeah, that's dude. a good fucking couple, point. I think I went with them for about six months. But this is all so. a big roundabout way to get back to Marlene. But that that long ass fucking story that I just told you was a dude that was my guitar instructor for I don't even think a year. He was ten months, and he made a giant impact on my life. He it's made me crazy. realize that I could change everything, and you could be that person in somebody else's life. And that's fucking dope that you have so many abilities to play so many instruments, so that you can fucking do that for somebody else. That's awesome. Yeah. It's always crazy whenever, like, you think about teachers. Like, they get paid like shit, unfortunately, but they have, like, some really rewarding kind of work if you think about it. Like, even though you're going to have some shitty students, and I'm sure they're shitty students no matter what you're doing. Have you had yeah. shitty students? I, uh, yeah. Like, for the kid, sure like the kid she who has. cries all the time. Wait, there's a kid oh. that. Can we talk about it? You don't have to say his name or her name. No, 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 no yeah. 
um yeah there was a kid there's a kid uh who, <laughs> who cried every every lesson <laughs> like funny. he would miss a note uh, and just break out in tears yeah. like what was yeah. it yeah or i'll be like can you play e for me <laughs> like he's trying to <laughs> sing you e and cry to him and shit <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh gosh, and then like the mom's there, so I'm like, oh god. What the, what happens? Like I the just, kid just keeps crying until the kid stops crying, and then you're like, crying. all right, ye. all right, time to go. You ever, just, <laughs> you ever just take a slice of American cheese and throw it right in his face? <laughs> yeah. What's up with that? You what should. is that? Why is that a challenge? <laughs> the same reason that anything's a thing on the internet, like eating Tide goofy. Pods, just because silly. they're they're fucking bored. Yeah, their just, lives are empty. They found something to do. But anyways, back to it, though. Other shitty thing? Other shitty students? Um, uh, I mean, I have a few students that fart. They fart? They like, fart. Because you do this all, like, online, right? No, Hold she does not uh, in person. Yeah. Oh, you have a school around here? Yeah. Hold yeah. on a second. How bad are their farts? Are these how do you children's know? farts? Oh that how you're do I know? Do you, like, do oh. you hear it or do you smell it first? I, are, you in a, are you just in a cave when you teach? Like, no <laughs> air ventilation at no, all? There's no air ventilation. It's a small room. God it's a small damn. room. And then they they fart really loud, and then they giggle. They don't say they don't say anything. They laugh. They just yeah. They just laugh. They if they fart really loud. And they laugh. They're like <laughs> at least. <laughs> and I'm, like, and I'm like oh damn it. But wait, no. at least you're not the smelly instructor because I Brad. I don't know if you remember the <laughs> smell in Will's fucking guitar that room. That was a small ass room. That shit Ugh. smelled like bo constantly. This dude only showered with spring water. He didn't use shampoo. Spring water. No. So listen. <laughs> Because, like, I just started smoking weed right when I started getting guitar to <laughs> lessons. And, like, I was talking with this dude, like, blazed out of my fucking little 13-year-old mind, like, talking to this dude who was also a stoner. Well, uh, probably, well, I just said Will. It doesn't matter. But uh, he was also a stoner. He's, like, he's talking about, yeah, man, there's alkaloids in soaps and shampoos that you get from the grocery store, man. Like, spending, par- just burning my grandma's money <laughs> to tell me this information instead of teaching me guitar. And he's, like, there's fucking these alkaline solutions. Man, they rob you of your natural oils, and I was just in my thirteen-year-old head, high oh. as fuck, thinking like, your natural oils smell like balls, dude. You need to <laughs> get rid of those natural oils, dude. Fuck, use some Axe body spray or something. This room smells like a pile of balls. So while the couple students coming in and fart might be annoying, at least you're not the dude that I'll forever remember as having a room that smells like bo balls. Man, that's yeah, shitty. Yeah, you know. remember someone only for their smell. No, I remember him for the impact that he had, but I just started remembering it when she said that. It was like, tiny room, Buddy Rogers. Oh, yeah, his room smelled like an armpit the entire time I was in there. It was so oh fucking bad. So yeah, if like, bad. they farted and it smelled... Yeah, and like rotted this. broccoli. But do they laugh then? Like they when they still know laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I get so mad. And I'm smelling it, and I'm like... I'm trying to not gag, and I'm trying. Oh my god, that's so disgusting. Yeah, that's it's awful. Really bad. It's, it's bad. But that's super cool that you teach music, though. <laughs> really is. Yeah. To calm cool. yourself down and keep from like gagging, do you ever just turn on a pimple popping video? Like, oh, okay, pimple popping. Right now. <laughs> like this comes. Yeah. My stomach is Pretty settled. Much. <laughs> <laughs> just go on Instagram real quick. Oh, okay, okay, I'm better now. Do you oh, follow Doctor Pimple Popper? I do. Yeah, oh all god. about that page. It's I crazy. Do. I don't follow it because I don't want it in my feed. But every once in a while, I'll just search that shit, Doctor oh, Pimple ew. Popper, and I'll be like, what? How do you feel about that, Brad? Like when, like, do you watch him too? What? Yeah. No, I don't watch it. Brad's Good. about to throw up thinking Good. about it right now. <laughs> well, I've okay, described so, uh, it in too much depth for little, him. little insight on me. I had a cyst at one point that I had to get lanced, and I had to get it lanced like four Lance, times. That's Tell what they call us it. this story. Can we hear about it? Yeah, yeah, Can yeah, we yeah. also okay, hear about Yeah, go on. So uh, about 10 years ago, um, I had a uh, – I started getting a cyst on my tailbone, uh, my ass crack, if you guys want to know. Um, I'll do. Sh- what? Ouch. Mm, yeah, it was really bad. Mm. Uh but the first time, uh, it got so bad to where I couldn't sit. So I had to lay down in the back seat of my dad's car or my mom's car or something, and they drove me to the hospital. I'll tell you what, it's really awkward to have to pull down your fucking pants and have doctors touch your butt. Oh, I'm sure. And then they cut it open. Yeah, it's really weird. They cut it open? Yeah, they had to lance the Any, any the pain cyst. medicine? Uh, yeah, they gave me um, they, they gave me a couple shots and got, me, got my butt numb. But um, I had oh to do that. Uh, that was the first time. I had to do it two more times, and finally I had to schedule surgery because it kept coming back. It was called a pilonidal assist, so it was just pretty much a big pile of hair. 
Really? Um, yeah. What's so got a fur, or sorry now, Luke. Brad's got a furry ass crack. Is what we can do. <laughs> uh, no, no, it, 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 it actually wasn't from that. Because so back back in the day when I was in the music, I used to shave my my ass. Yeah. So yeah. I would use I would use uh, I wouldn't use a razor. Keep it nice and trim for Patrick. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it, it was actually it's, it's long hard days in the baloney piss smelled van. No, no, no. It wasn't it nice before. It was during. Uh, it was. Are the masses? I, I, I was dating nasty back then. Ugh. Uh, the one, She's the worst. Yeah. Well, regardless um, of when it was, but so it, it was <sighs> back when I first started dating her. So uh, I think it was in between. It was right before we met. Right. Probably. Yeah. Ohio's so, finest. Yes. There you go. That's when it was. Ohio's finest. But um, so uh, pretty much the second time I went back, they did the same thing. They had to cut it open. Um, finally had to do surgery. So when they did the surgery, they put me under, and then they fucking like had to dig into my fucking ass crack. And it, it's like the top of my ass, so it wasn't really like near the hole or anything like that, just so you guys are wondering. Um, but the worst thing about it was the fucking bandages. Oh. I had to change my own bandages. Oh. So I had to take, because it has the heel from the inside out. So you have to fucking... What? Yes. You have to fucking shove... Uh, it was like a big fucking roll of... Um, like this, like paper. Like a man pawn? No, well, kind of, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't like a like a tampon. It was like a big string of like a, a pad, and it was probably about that that wide. Like it, it was weird. Okay. But um, so Inch I had wide. To, I had to have that like shoved in to my fucking uh, into hole, the hole into the hole, and I'll what tell you, the when I pulled the bandage out, it smelled so fucking bad. What did it smell like? Uh, I, I I couldn't even, like rotting skin, pretty much rotting flesh. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, it was worse than really like a, a a gauge or a plug. It was about the same, Ugh. about the same. Like if somebody doesn't clean their plugs and it just smells really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to like the, I'm telling you, this bandage was probably uh, like three feet long that I had to shove in there and pack it into there into it the hurt? hole. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. When I every time I changed my bandage, I'd fucking hurt so bad. Um, Fuck that, dude. Yeah, it was it was really bad. But I mean, no wait, overall, did blood get like stuck to the like scab to the bandage, and you had to like pull your scab and blood apart? Uh, poopy blood scab. I'm just trying no, to make Luke pass there, out. There wasn't there wasn't poop. <laughs> I don't I don't honestly. I'm just trying to make Luke pass out. Make it grosser. So. I don't think so. But uh, as I said, like pulling it out, it was just fucking gross and smelled gross. And you had to throw it away. Then you had to shove a new one back in. You had to change it every like two days. Dude, it was actually. Hold on, no, no. I had to change it every fucking day. It was bad. Uh, it's your ass crack bad. bandage. Ew. Of course you <laughs> yeah. did. That's There's horrible. Sweat yeah. rolling in there all day long I, I from your nether region. For like the first week and a half, I had to lay on my stomach because I couldn't lay on my back end. So it was it was bad after this. Reminds me Dude, of my third day in prison. I get sw- <laughs> I get swamp ass pretty mm. bad sometimes. I could only imagine like how ma- nasty oh, it might smell. Back to how I got it. So the reason why you get it is so as I said, I was shaving right. So it was an ingrown hair that just kept getting bigger and bigger. In the in your skin, yeah. Oh, so that's pretty much. So you what, yanked out like a long ass hair, probably, uh, right? Well, the pile of idol is just a big pile of hair. So when they cut it, when they cut <sighs> Did it, you out, see it? Uh, no, I didn't see. It. I was, saved I was, it. I was under, so I didn't see anything. Luke is tearing up while you're telling the story. <laughs> well, no, okay. Well, that's not <laughs> like the craziest shit. Eyes. Brad had a fucking saw go through his fucking hand one time. Tell this story, Brad. I, that what was the fuck? Yeah. now. Oh, that yeah. was when he when this happened. That was fucked it's up. Here. Dude, so okay, it's halfway pointing, through his hand. He had a butt. To, Explain, he, Brad, what happened? He's pointing to his left hand, and he's showing us all this giant scar that goes from like the top of the knuckle and the webbing of the 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 pinky finger, and it wraps around to the other side on his palm. And then he's got another scar that goes on the other side by his. Uh, it's right by the webbing of your thumb yep. and your index finger. You must lost finger. fingers. And Tell us right his story, right dude. Right so, okay. What happened? All right, so pretty much, uh, I don't do name your don't name your business. Um, I'm not. Okay, uh, I don't. I, I do construction, so. Uh, Pretty much, I was holding a piece of wood. My brother was cutting it, wasn't paying attention, and the saw jerked. And when it jerked, it grabbed me right here in, in my uh, little Sucked the little webbing, in. and then it just pulled, cut across my hand, and then dug straight in and went probably, uh, I'd probably say about half an inch into my fucking uh, my left hand. Jesus. So God, God damn. Uh, I didn't notice what happened. Because um, you don't feel it. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't, don't feel. You it. don't feel it. Uh, I blacked out, and all... Like, looked, passed out? Yeah, I was still standing and talking, but I couldn't remember Shocked. anything. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Pat forgot about synonyms for a second. He was, like, blacked out, and he was like, you mean, like, passed out? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, keep going. But, uh, 
So pretty much when that happened, uh, I, I, I guess my, my dad and the other guy that works for us, they both came running around the corner because I yelled, fuck, like really loud. Oh, God. And I like, I don't remember any of it. You know, I don't remember yelling anything. I remember waking up and I was just standing there and I look like this and I look at my hand fuck. and I'm just covered in blood. And then I look up and the guy that works with us had his shirt off and just threw it at me. So like. All I remember waking up is seeing some guy just throw a shirt at me and just fucking hit me. And then I was just like, cover what the fuck? So I just like wrapped my hand and then, uh, I got into the truck. We drove to, uh, we started going to one of the hospitals and like halfway there, you know, I, I kind of still didn't know what was going on. And finally I just started feeling fucking so much pain Oh yeah, in my hand. And I just started fucking crying and I was like, Oh my God. And my dad was like, it's okay. It's okay. Calm down. You know, uh, I think I ended up getting like fucking like 30 stitches or something i'm surprised or, it wasn't uh, more it was like 17 17 stitches i think they well, like when, real good first though, when you right? get like yeah. fucking sawed or stabbed or whatever you don't feel that shit i got stabbed no. and i've told that story before on the podcast but like i didn't feel that shit you feel it like fucking like a half hour to an hour later right. though you know what i felt the other day so you, you, got see, this, you see this Ooh. big fucking burn on my hand uh it was a big giant bubble that was on my hand uh, I work a uh, saute in a kitchen, so you got a bunch of pans on a range with no rubber on them anymore, no plastic, no protective. You keep a towel in your hand. You grab the pans and you flip them and you fucking you keep them moving. You got a lot of saute pans going at any given time. The ones in the back, this, it's an all gas grill, so the ones in the front, there's uh, uh, burners going with flames up, and uh, those pan handles are sitting over those flames the entire time. So normally, I'm real careful about putting the the fucking the uh the towel over the handles and grabbing it so i don't get burned i put the towel over this handle and just missed just that much on my hand and touched Oof. it for half a second and i fell on the ground on my knees and made the most feminine noise you've ever heard i was like ah! <laughs> and everyone looked at me like you fucking pussy and then i was like oh, oh. Like then look I'm at your hand now holding tears back i'm not crying you're crying and then fucking ran to the fucking <laughs> there's an ice machine in the back just jam my hand in there and i was like it'll be fine i pulled it out one second later i was like it's burning like i just touched it again and shit i felt that so what is it about stabs that don't make you burns you feel uh, the whole time I, it yeah. sucks yeah you totally feel the burn like instantly i don't know why the the difference is there it is i mean like the same thing with like a gunshot wound most likely you don't you feel the pressure no but you don't like, everybody like, that i know that's been shot says that they feel a burning right away and then they start feeling the blood loss that makes them like yeah but they don't feel like the impale they don't feel impaled by this bullet you know they usually just feel like the hot hot bullet that touches them that's on the outside of their skin but when it hits on the inside of you you don't feel that your adrenaline is rushing i mean this is just me talking from experience i had a friend from chicago that was talking about getting shot by a gun and he was like yeah, I was like, uh, as I was walking away from these group of dudes that my friend pulled a gun on, I was I was like, in my head, I was like, I'm going to feel all these bullets burn, because that's what they always told him when he was growing up, with his hood rat friends or whatever, and then he actually got hit by him, and he was like, they do burn, they burn like a motherfucker the whole time, and then, like, I only got shot once, but you just start feeling that blood loss, and then you start blacking out, and it's just burning pain the whole time, is what he told me. Well, I mean, I've never been shot, so I don't know. But when I was stabbed, I didn't feel that shit. I I felt the knife leave my hand and hit the ground, and I picked it up afterwards. Like, that's all I fucking remember. Like, I didn't... I looked at my hand, you could see white and tendons and, like, pink muscle tissue and all this shit in between. Um, but that's all I, I mean, it didn't even bleed right away. So it's gotta be like the way, like a sharp object is just cutting away at a nerve ending or something like that, that I would assume like, cause you didn't fucking, you were in shock. Yeah, I was in shock. Yeah. It's like your body is like, it is already prepared for this kind of pain. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's I hard to, it's impossible the, to explain. You yeah, almost lost your finger. Yeah. They, uh, it got so deep that they said that, um, pretty much. It was like an inch away from cutting the nerve. And that's nuts. Not an inch, sorry. It was like it was literally like a fraction away from cutting the nerve. Dude, that's and I your fretting hand. That's your fretting yeah. hand. Well, and on a base, it's imperative you use your. I mean, you only use depends three. On, depends on how you play. Yeah, true. Do you only true. play with three fingers? No, I play with four. But you I mean, I, I could I could play without it. You know, I have small hands anyway. So the way that like I don't stretch like a lot of bassists do. So I and also with the scar, I can't stretch. Uh, it actually causes me to not like it hurts real bad. Yeah. So like I usually just slide my finger as fast as I can. Okay. So, so it just makes yeah. you develop a new style, kind of right. like uh, who was the guitarist? Django Reinhardt. He was a famous jazz guitarist that learned uh, he he lost three of his fingers in a fire when he was a kid. 
Damn. Plus, like, his thumb and then his uh, his ring and his his pinky. He just had these two on his fretting mm-hmm. hand, and he was like a badass in the 1920s. He would just like zoom across the guitar, like he was like one of the fastest. He was like the Eddie Van Halen of the That's jazz pretty, era type cool. shit. Well, I mean, and if you if you lose like a finger or, or hand adapt. or something, or yeah, you can adapt. Like if, uh, the Ghost Inside. I don't know if you listened to the Ghost Inside at all. They got in a horrible Andrew. car accident. Uh, like in Def the past Leopard, couple years, motherfucker. What about yeah. them too? Yeah, they have like a one foot. Is, is one he one arm? arm? One yeah, arm. That's one insane. Arm. He plays fucking drummer. drums with he one arm. Figured out a pedal system. But keep yeah. going. Keep going. So like their guitar or their not guitars, their drummer lost a leg or some other shit, and he's playing double bass and shit still. Uh, I don't know how he does it, but I think there's like they, some they sort set of set up some kind of new pedals. Like, same, pedals same that thing. like it's repeat like a, them. So I don't know what the fuck they are. I'm pretty sure I have a signed poster of them. Dude, they're dope. Yeah, they're good. We played with them uh, the All Stars tour. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yep. Um, but yeah, so you want to get into the videos of the week? I'm down. Let's do it. Let's move right Let's into move it. Let's move into it. What do we have first, Patrick? I don't know. So just so you know, Brad and Marlene, I do not research really that hard into these videos. <laughs> I see the title and it's like clickbait, all right? And I just say, all right, this could be good enough. So this is a video oh. called Woman Reviews. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't even remember half this shit. Women review soap bars by eating them. All this right. one made me real see what's gonna happen. Oh, so, so it's some a girl lady. in a hijab, and she's got a uh, package that says Lux on it. It's purple. <laughs> Hold on, let's let's turn her up so we can all hear. Her. Let that one up. What just happened? What are you doing, Cody? Fucking, with stuff fucking for, shit up again. For no reason. No <laughs> reason. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she's speaking a foreign language, as you guys can hear, obviously. But the whole time she's doing it, she unwrapped this package with the quickness, and she has this purple that was, like, fucking super quick. Yeah, <laughs> she like literally, she was like she instantly was just like, like. Do you think she said like subscribe and like this video? Do you want to see it one more time, yes. really quickly? Hello. All right, she's got it. She's got the package. Rips it out. And one second later, she has an empty soap bar. She's holding it above her head. She pulls it back down. Dude, she got water in her hand somewhere oh, no, in between she, here. She, she, she wetted it. Water. That's what she, she got with her hand wa- up there. She yeah, so she it. was like, water up in my hand. So moist it up. bar of soap. And then just goes right for it. Just starts tonguing it like Tongue it's... fucking. <laughs> the soap bar. Oh, my fucking... Mm. Just can, like uh, it's a Kona ice cream or some Saturday morning pussy. Like, what are you doing, <laughs> fella? <laughs> Holy shit. Like, have you guys ever, for it? Have you guys ever uh, been punished by having soap in your mouth? No. 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 Dude, no. Actually, parent, yeah, I did one time. One time, uh, me too. I had, a, uh, I had a babysitter that was mean as fuck when my mom was bartending <laughs> and shit, and she was, like, trying to... Uh, well, whatever the family shit, I shouldn't talk about on the podcast. Uh, I was I had a babysitter, <laughs> had a babysitter, and uh, she was a psychopath. She was a psycho, and she would like hit her kids in front of us. But she what? was like the kids that she was babysitting, she wouldn't hit just her own kids as scare tactics for the kids that were fucking up. Like other kids would get beatings, and she would do crazy what? shit, uh, put uh, like soap in people's mouth, and she did it to me. And then I told my mom, and it was over for this bitch. My mom <laughs> up there swinging yep. on her and shit. But, uh, yeah, so one time. Pat, what was your one I time? I mean, it wasn't that special for me, but I remember I said some nasty things to my parents, and I got soap in my mouth, and it was fucking awful. It was awful. It is the worst taste ever in your mouth. It's it not tastes good. like It tastes like fucking acid in your mouth. Not like psychedelics, you fucking <laughs> psychopath, like, Luke. He was like, huh? He was like, huh? Huh? Look at his lips. Like, no, he, wasn't, like, he wasn't even paying attention. He was just like... Acid? <laughs> Luke had to make for you guys, you guys and the listeners that are new. Luke on the last episode had to make a special announcement to tell our listeners to uh, stop yeah. asking him where to get acid from. Because <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker talks about it every episode, and then he's just like, I can't believe people are asking me where to get it. Like you can't really, you can't believe it. Like whatever. Luke. Yeah. All right, yeah. back to the video though. We were but yeah. This girl woman makes out with a soap bar. She's getting it too, mm. dude. Look, she's got professional tongue action on. On this so bar. Is she smiling she too? Not Look at her facial expression. Just like <laughs> she's like doesn't really even give a fuck it. at all. Pure bliss, right it there. It makes me Lux think bar soap. It, it makes me think of like those people with a strange addiction that like eat bricks oh, and shit, or drink their own piss, or eat diapers, or drink their own piss and shit. I like, seen that one. That one was weird. Why do people do this shit? Here's another uh, tasting video, but instead of oh, tasting uh, soap, instead of seeing oh, what shit. soap's gonna taste oh, like, shit. he's gonna figure out what. Live bees in his mouth taste like. This Patrick, video is titled "Man shoves a handful of bees into his mouth." 
And he does. And he does it. So he's got Link a ham. the full length video <laughs> in the comments. He's Boy. got a. Uh, what are your thoughts? <laughs> so this isn't how you not eat honey. <laughs> Yo, did anybody read the comments? How, They're great. Video? Hold on a second. How has he assembled this many bees in his hand? I'm assuming this he's is part of a hive. He's got a handful. There's yeah. no way that he's just Hundreds. been handfulling bees up and his hand's not the size of a catcher's no, mitt from the stings. That's like a size of a softball. He's, he's right next to a house that's got an awning with a giant comb hanging off, and he was getting familiar with the bees bef- beforehand. He was rubbing his face on the comb. Then he shoved his head through the honeycomb. What? He was rubbing his face on the bees. He was putting them Yo, down his shirt. He's masturbating the whole time. He's up the whole, like, already. Yeah. He's a savage. This he probably, dude is, he probably masturbates with bees, dead bee bodies. Yo, I wouldn't even want to be around, like, one bee, yeah. let alone 200. Yeah. yeah. Let's see where that. this goes. Let's, Let's see what happens. Yeah. But I'm just like, if you guys get to see this video, it looks like he has a softball of live bees, and there's <laughs> no way. Exactly there's what he no has. There's no fucking way. There, it's got to be part of a nest, and the bees are on the outside. But if he actually has a softball, he really has that of many. Bees, I bet it's that bees. This man is the yeah. biggest psychopath with the least allergy that I've ever I seen. I promise. I think many. he's got some of Luke's acid. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? I knew it went missing. Brad, so yeah. <laughs> Brad is saying this with neck and ear tattoos. Like, he's like, fuck bees. I'm not trying to get mm-hmm. stung. And he's got tattoos fucking everywhere. It's a, it's a different this type of This dude is pain. a psycho. Yeah. yeah. I love tattoos. Different type of pain. I love them. Let's see what's going to happen, though. It's my what the, what the fuck? fuck? Why are you doing this? Mm. Oh, Why dude, are you okay. doing this? <laughs> it's a... Bees. Why? I'm going to go on a branch. everywhere. Dude. I'm going to go on a branch here and say he's an Indian, dude, because he looks Indian, all right? I'm not trying to... What are you trying to say, Cody? Fucking racist. What the hell? Jesus Christ. All right, he looks like an Indian man. And he's next to, which you don't see in the very beginning of the video, he's next to a goddamn (laughs) fucking the biggest hornet colony that I've ever seen in my entire life. It looks like the favelas of Colombia. The temple of doom. I I told you he was next to a fat-ass fucking comb. This dude is a psychopath. All right, let's see what's going to happen. He's getting it right imagine. up to his face. All right. Oh, what are you doing? This oh, is, my God. By he the way. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? And look how by swollen way, his hands are. This yeah. man for sure they're just... like fucking sausages. Yeah. yeah, and he's got rings on, too, so they're all oh fucking plump. God. He's but, shoving the whole fucking handful into his mouth. The but, whole thing. Looks Here's like my a thing. Hamburger. <laughs> now that I see the whole context of the video, like the entire frame, like where you can see the hive, for sure that's not a piece of hive with a bunch of bees on the outside. Like Luke said, it is a handful. It's a fistful of yeah. bees. Yeah. It's all bees. It's moving as if it's bees, and he's putting it's all a bee the ball. live bees in his mouth while they <laughs> swarm around. It's him. a double bee. This man's in a tank top. Oh God. Dude, why are you doing is this? He's got to be getting... It's a fetish. Yo, he's got to be dying. He's putting a second handful. He's going for a second scoop. This is so fucking weird. Why did? Why would you do this in the first place? It's like, why did the first guy who got discovered milk, why was he milking the cow? Can we just ask why the guy is videotaping it? Yo, yo, that'd be very funny. It's for Go ahead, jackass. Shove bees in your mouth. New fucking jackass show. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's the Indian version it's of in, oh Indian jackass. <laughs> they just kill themselves deliberately. He's shoving them oh. in his shirt. He's trying to make some. I think he's trying to rub his nipples. Moves. Well, the video just goes on and nipples. on. But there I was think... a, a Vice video uh, about uh, this psychedelic sh- honey. Yeah, the psychedelic what? honey, and they would they would climb down the sides of these cliffs with these hand woven uh, vine ladders it's down like the Nepali sides. Like Nepali people, or something really? Like yeah, that. yeah, and uh, they would they you, when you look at the the the, the guys who pick the the honey, their hands and their faces are like monstrously swollen, like that guy's hands were, but way way worse. And they climb down there every year and they harvest an insane amount of honey that they eat that makes them fucking trip. Psychedelic honey. I but these never guys heard of that. Yeah, they their hands, like the the they've it's, just grown accustomed. Yeah, like they can just eat these honey the, That's these what this is. and not even feel it. It's in the very beginning Whoa. of the people. It's uh if you guys want to see it, the Nepalese honey that makes people hallucinate. Yeah. The YouTube. Or Nepalese, whatever. It's on Vice. Nepalese. 22 minute uh, documentary if you get a chance to watch it. The it's thing fantastic. Luke is talking about is right here. That's just they like sting a, them and everything? They make a rope ladder Look at it. that goes up the, these, hun- Drug these addicts. honey. Drug <laughs> <laughs> That's the Pat says time. it with only disdain. Old, old time <laughs> crackheads. 
fucking drug addicts. Dare. No, this, Brad summed it up perfectly, <laughs> and he didn't even get a laugh. I'm going to re say it. This is Brad's joke. Old timey crackheads. Because that this is what this is. Yeah. Like, yeah. This Good is point. way before fucking. Uh, you could just go down to the street corner and ask some shady dude for a fucking vial of some crack. Like, you had to rope ladder. You had to make your own fucking <laughs> vine rope ladder and climb the side of a mountain because you knew these honeybees had it down where the shroom connect was at and they were making solid honey out of it and shit like that. I feel like if they had some pretty excellent substitutes for their psychedelics, they would have been following that route for a long while. What the this fuck? This is crazy, though. The video that you're talking yeah. about, you you see a valley in the distance. That's them climbing over this fucking... Yeah. It's, it's not a side. mountain, but it's goddamn close. And this thing that he's climbing on, that he's holding on to, they make that in the documentary. Like, it's this rope ladder that they're fucking climbing on that they make on the fly and shit. There's the dude's oh hands God. that oh. harvest the honey. Fucked up. Hands all swollen and shit. No thanks. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I guess, uh, you know, if you want to... You want a trip? I guess you gotta take a trip. You know what I mean? I guess, or I you know. could just like get acid and take it in your basement you and be just fine. Get some kind of gloves. <laughs> you don't have to <laughs> climb a vine you don't rope need a ladder. Defy life, you know. Hey, but I would definitely death. eat a handful of that honey, though. This dude had a bad time at the end of this documentary. <laughs> I don't think that I would eat this honey. Maybe he died. Wuss. <laughs> it's probably part Wuss. poison, part honey. <laughs> Anyways, you know, all, all right, out of all on. the Vice documentaries for crazy wild drugs, I think the the <laughs> the, the the bullfrog would probably be the one I would try. The like the uh, the, the bufo. There's like a, a, a something a pus that leaks from him or something, and you yeah, eat you it. squeeze the warts. No, sounds disgusting. You have to scare the frog on a glass thing, and then you put it in the microwave, and it dries it out, and you scrape it up and snort it. Yeah. <laughs> if horse cum was hallucinogenic, would you eat that? You can smoke it too. What? <laughs> I mean, if you someone dried what? it, if someone already dried it up, prepackaged it into a smokable boy. <laughs> you have to eat it like cold and wet. What? Then no. Fresh. Who's fucking out there just sucking horse jizz from the cock the to figure out their freaks. fucking psychedelic? I don't Man. know. Why are people climbing cliffs to fucking get bee honey? It's got to be worth it. Well, let's say it's worth it. Would you? Would no. you eat the horse no. cum? No. 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 Lame. Why dude? not, Luke? Come on, it's dude. It's horse cum. I mean, you put, like, chemicals in your body. Why wouldn't you just put a little horse cum in you? That's chemicals. <laughs> you wouldn't right. want a natural su- uh, substitute? It's not coming from a scientist's <laughs> would, you put, would you put chemicals in your body to make your, like, muscles bigger ever? Like, if you're, you're, like, like the ste- oils? You're like not ste- a giant ste- dude. Oils. You're not a small dude, but you're, like, a medium-sized dude. Have you ever just wanted to be fucking jacked so much that you no. put canola oil in your arms? That's Anchor arms. I have never had the desire to be. Like Popeye like, arms and yeah, shit. Yeah. You yeah. get a can of spinach, it goes from your forearm to your thing, and you're like, that's not spinach, bitch, that's canola oil. <laughs> or potentially piss. I don't understand why, like, this, so this video we're about to watch, it's called, Do You Even Inject Yourself With Horse Piss, Bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if this man injected himself so, with horse like, piss, but why? through these Reddit comments, I've been able to find his Instagram and shit. But he's he's this little, I'm just going to say, he's scrawny bitch looking he's Russian scrawny dude. little bitch. He's a scrawny little bitch that wanted some big arms and didn't want to work for him. And he's got these big, over inside, oversized, like... Wearing a monster looks shirt. Like, looks like Popeye. He looks like a fucking sure. idiot. He yeah. looks like a fucking idiot. He looks, he like, looks, looks like he's wearing like what are those inflatable yeah. arm things you put on when you're first learning to swim? And looks like it's under that under his skin. <laughs> his look buddy, the- his buddy looks like he's about to lick him though. This look dude doesn't <laughs> only flex. This dude doesn't only flex. He fucking punches at the camera, and I want to hear you guys' honest reaction to this man's punches. Just I'll I'll be quiet and I'll let the video right, play. Watch, just watch him punch. Oh. <laughs> What the hell is that? This dude, you think he gets laid? You think he got laid after this video? Hell no. Without question. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is that a punch? That's the the saddest excuse for an piss. arm movement that I've ever seen in my entire life. Because his arms are actually limited with all that fucking oil in there, <laughs> This man. dude literally, okay, for our listeners, he has his arms out like he's holding onto a shopping cart, but a little bit further up, like nipple height and shit. And then he just, like, arms completely extended, like, one inch, two inch punches 
with his right and left arms. And it's the saddest, like, oh, look at me flexing that you've ever seen. I think this dude has eyeliner on. I'm pretty sure he's got a monster in his shirt. They're speaking Russian. I just expect <laughs> naturally Russians are badasses. Like, yeah. if I start hearing Russian, yeah. like, in an angry, aggressive tone, I'm walking in the opposite direction of that. Riviet. <laughs> They're obviously KGB. Obviously. Like, yep. All right, I don't. Like, all right, but too many strange words, and yep. you sound very angry. I, I smell vodka. I'm Have going a good day. In the opposite region, yeah, they could be saying the nicest shit ever. Like, may Jesus be with you. I don't care. It sounds crazy and aggressive. If I'm hearing Russian, all right, I, this might be racist against the Russians, but Russians scare me sometimes. I'm just like, oh no, there's yeah. gonna be a knife fight. I How many get Russians are you fucking crossing? Not many, but the few that you cross, like uh, especially. So this dude isn't a badass, but he associates himself with psychopaths i don't know russian so maybe some of the videos that i found through this reddit post just scrolling through like the same dude that's a goofball with his big fat fucking fake arms that he's got has like like videos with straight psychopaths so on what his exactly is in his arms I don't know. They don't, they don't explain it. All of his Instagram is Russian. So all what? you can do is watch the videos and like, I'm like, <laughs> I hope this is a spoof or a guess. But okay, so the video that I'm about to play is just the first one that I found when I clicked on his uh, Instagram. It's him sitting on a zebra striped fucking couch. Like the most Russian couch of all time. There's some pretty and, badass looking dudes next to him. Or the yeah. one guy on the left is. He's got the fakest arms in the world though because you can see his shoulders. Yeah. If your biceps are that big, this dude has watermelon biceps and just normal size dude arms for the he rest. He looks like the guy with the fucking, uh, the big ass neck. Yeah. The, he, oh, neck no, the meme sense. dude. He looks like thick you went neck, to customize your character and you, and you went all the way left <laughs> <laughs> on bicep yes. lifts. That's exactly what he looked like and you yeah. didn't fucking fix the rest of his body. He's a little fat. Yeah. But he's sitting on opposite sides Ugh. of the couch on this video with straight killers and I want to show you this video. I'm just going to play it in Russian and just watch it because I don't know what they're saying in Russian but you'll see. Just watch it. Okay. Друзья, все те, кто больше не хочет слышать, как поет Кирилл Кирёша, мы разыгрываем конкурс. Банка Синтола от Кирилла Кирёшина. I don't know, keep watching. За тех, кто не хочет слушать. Для тех, кто хочет слушать Кирилла Кирёша. What? He's got a fucking gun. Somebody's dead. He shot a fucking gun at the fucking house, dude. What are you doing? Keep going. So he just starts. That's pretty much the end of it. All I think about is like that's like a like a hundred and fifty dollar fix. Like, you just shot a $150 bullet because you have to fucking fix the drywall. Can I, can I the fucking grandma. Right. <laughs> yeah. The guy on the right has a knife. Yeah. Like he's, like, picking his fingernails. That's like, what, what I was going to point out. And none of them barely flinch. Like, they all blink when the Yo, gun goes off. They're like, part of a fight club. Click I, on the fight club. Where fight is the club? fight club? It, right there. Fight club shut. Chaton, right there. Okay. Okay. They're, they're apparently a part of a fight club. Shut oh, there's, the that, fuck there's that big up. motherfucker. Is the uh oh that guy's freaky as fuck looking? Is that go, scroll up? Is the fucking weird arm dude uh, over in this picture on the left? Yeah, go down. That's him, no, no, that's no, him down, right there. Down. No, go down. That one is, there, Shut is the that fuck. weird Where arm is he? guy? Is he? I in don't there? see him. No, no, I don't see him either. Okay, so it's just the the big guy that was in the video. So, with like, with why a gun. do you think he fucking did the that? The dude that shot the gun is probably a Russian athlete or something. Well, it that said he MMA has with or him. Fight Club or something. Yeah. It it uh it, these that, guys will that, kill you. that was an ad for that for that jug is all that <laughs> shit that the dude is injecting into his arms. He shot his fucking uh, like why. That this dude probably never lifts at all. Okay, no. so there's a, a of course perfect he picture. Never. I've got to find it real quick, but there's a here it is. This is the difference. This dude goes to actual. <laughs> this goes dude has to go to conventions for like body, like just dudes that are sculpting your body for real. And there's this black dude on the right of him that <laughs> looks ripped. like Yo, the perfect is... specimen of a man. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's carved out of stone, like he Michelangelo does, actually, carved yeah. him. Look at this man. What the fuck? And then you just see this goofball next to him with, with the, the goofiest arms. facial structure, the goofiest haircut, the goofiest clothes. The fucking, he's got big watermelon cantaloupe arms and then tiny man arms all the rest of the way around. And he's just over here posing with him. Like, this dude's shirtless next to him just staring at the camera, like, trying not to burst into tears and laughter. <laughs> it's like, like, look at this know, motherfucker. When, when Scoob or when Shaggy ever that ate, like, like, a like, sandwich. tag me in that shit, dude. I'm about to tag a bunch of dudes that are going to clown this Whenever, man. like, Shaggy or Scooby ate a big old sandwich and it got caught in their throat <laughs> and it made, like, a big old knot. <laughs> That's what it looks like, That's but it's exactly like, what point. that is. It's trapped in his arms instead. That's a hundred percent. It looks like it's supposed to be moving. 
Oh my! It looks like a snake swallowed something, and it's taking a hot <laughs> second to digest. I was just thinking that. Meanwhile, <laughs> the dude next to him has the same size biceps, but he has a like twelve pack. The the same the the manliest of wrists going down the entire time, like it matches. No, his this body dude has proportion. This dude has my goofy white wrists, and then a fucking cantaloupe on his arm. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here, posing your fake ass canola oil muscles <laughs> next to this dude that's in the gym. Not 95 hours, eight days a week and shit. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you doing next to this man? Like, eight he should literally, if this was Roman times, this man should crush you and eat you. Like, what are you doing? The fuck are you doing? You're standing next to this dude? It's like those people that, like, posing. try to get surgery to look like a fucking Barbie or some shit. Oh, yeah. Take out ribs. Fucking Just take out ugly. mass muscle chunks. Just, Just be, be ugly. ugly. Looks, Look, I'm doing it, and I have a podcast. It's fine. You can a do face it. for radio. Look Cody. at him though. With, <laughs> without these giant fucking watermelon ham hock arms that he's fucking <laughs> artificially installed into himself. Without him, he looks like the most boring, plain person ever. It's just so weird not like seeing all these fucking quote unquote muscles without can- any veins or anything. It just looks. So stupid. He it looks, looks like, like a thumb. It, he looks like that SpongeBob episode with anchor arms, you know, where they're inflatable <laughs> yeah, arms. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you don't have anchor arms, you're a jerk. That Some is shit. what he looks like. Yeah. He, a, he is a fucking jerk, though. <laughs> and he has the most punchable face of a dude that I've ever seen. <laughs> he does. He looks like the biggest... Like, if you if you whopped him just once, he'd go down. Like, glass jaw. <laughs> Why the fuck? <laughs> we even talked about this. Why is the fuck does this guy have 17,000 likes on this fucking picture? Because look how ridiculous this is. <laughs> is, is you think if it's all making fun laugh- of him? Pat, if there was a laugh react on Instagram, that would be all that was there. There would be no. Oh, true. There is a be, bunch of laughing emojis. There'd be emojis. three reacts that were positive likes that were legit. It would be his mom, his grandma, and his boyfriend. Like that's it. It's <laughs> over. Yo, can we uh, look at his profile picture though? Because look at his picture. It looks like he has like heavy makeup on. Yeah, oh, God. that's what I'm saying. This no, man like, has look at the profile, profile picture pic. up top. No, Go I to said that profile. about the other picture. He has eyeliner in every picture. Yeah, he does. Ugh. Scroll up. I want to. I want to see his. Uh... And it just makes his face look more uncomfortable. Like he just like has a very rapey, uncomfortable. Yo, why is look he showing on a face. girl a banana? <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Where did you see a right girl there, and right a banana? There. Right there. Right there. Middle. Oh no. <laughs> look at him in his he fucking looks so shirt. stupid. <laughs> Does he have a shirt of he looks himself? Like a, he what looks the like a gorilla. Fuck? He's wearing a shirt of himself. <laughs> no, he's not. Yes, yeah, that's, that looks like him. That's a shirt of him. Oh, well, it has wait. almost five hundred thousand views. You wow. think he would? Meanwhile, his shirt looks like on him like a fucking like one of those black, <laughs> looks like a fucking idiot. One He's of those black uh, donut rafts that you inflate when a boat's going down and it's half inflated. That's what his shirt looks like if you drew on it in a high school. All right, let's go. Speaking Russian to a girl with a tank top. Oh, she's uh, a. Oh, stop the fucking video right she's, now. She's uh, a. She's fucking deep throating a banana. Why didn't she eat it? Because he paid her, <laughs> because he paid her so many Russian dollars and vodka that she was Russian like, I, all right, I guess. Like for sure, she that wasn't just. It like makes me think of that. Is that uh, where it ends? Like that's just the end of the clip. He probably yeah, play it. He finish it. it. He probably deep throats it too. He's like, oh, let me do it. Let me. Do Wait, it. let's see. Finish <laughs> the video. Finish it. Let's see if he deep throats it too. Puts it right in his butt. Oh, no. Nope, she did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat it. She's probably got nightmare fuel she looking at this fucking dude. She this looks is, really uncomfortable. I'm like cringing. He's like her. Yeah. She looks, she looks like the cringe. Russian mob had to force her to do this I get an R. Kelly vibe. Yeah. yeah. yeah or she that. was in there working out and then just like a mob of dudes came in. Big dude came with a gun. Suck like, and then there's that AK-47 pointing down her, <laughs> pointing at her Suck like banana. off the camera. <laughs> Deep throat this banana twice, twice, and then act like you enjoy it. Get out, kitty on well, the it, phone. There's all kinds of fucking weird ass <laughs> videos. Like, what is that dude? Long neck. Lo- uh, long neck is a legend, though. Big Daddy, Daddy long, long neck. neck. He is a legend. I will say that, but he has a lot of cringy ass videos. He's the skinniest. He's nothing but he cringe. looks like a skeleton. Oh, is, that, is it the skinny, the real skinny, skinny guy who hangs out with the fat dude? Yeah. His fat uncle yeah, with yeah. the oh ice cream on the face. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hangs out with uh, wide ass neck or damn yeah. wide neck or whatever his yeah, name whatever is. That fucking meme. Uh, but but he isn't has, that nice though that he was able to get out of prison to just surf on a nice meme career? Yeah, for some yeah. Good cash. I wonder what his net worth is. That's got to be tight. Probably. Ah no! They have a music video together. Yo, apparently, he has a tattoo oh, that says yo. "lick here." 
Good. I mean, good for them. They made some fucking money off this shit. Well, yeah. But it is some serious oh, look cringe. Look at fucking acne Pizza face. face over there. Do you guys see? <laughs> Dude, oh it is hanging out with Lord. ugly friends. God. This is oh terrible. My God. Yo, I feel like he, I feel like he's one of those people, if you walk up to him and shake him, his ears like, he's like... <sighs> How wait, is this Luke, a world star hip-hop video? Luke, are these your juggler friends? That yeah. You keep bringing up on yeah. all the episodes? Yeah. Jug. God damn. All right, I'll try. Jug vision. Sorry. But yeah, they have like a lot of videos online of like him paying girls to lick his neck and shit. And Ooh. It's oh, I think weird. I saw one video. It was pretty. I mean, I follow him. <laughs> I won't lie. It's some funny shit. It's really entertaining. Oh. I've seen a couple. Yeah. It is some secondhand cringe. I mean, I, what about that video of the guy? We have it up here of the guy that's like doing fake breast examinations on the street. Yeah, that's one right People here. do all kinds of crazy shit oh. for fucking views. Like that. Uh, Lorenzo, we are back. Oh my God! We are back. Turn to, that down. We are back to touching on unsuspecting drunk women as video, they come out of the club. Rape. Video name in on YouTube is giving girls breast examinations in public. It's about that this guy. My who name is Lorenzo is Adams with Nerdballer TV. I've never touched a woman in my life. But this is my excuse. So he <laughs> pretends to be a fucking doctor wearing the fucking jacket, the fucking gloves. ear thing that doctors... Yeah, gloves and all that shit. And the he's like, stethoscope. But look stethoscope. at the predator-ass hat. Like, if, if it was like, it whoop, boys. Like, he'd shed the fucking coat. He'd be in all black. He'd be right. ready to hop in the van and just skirt right. out. <laughs> yeah, easy for him to fucking run. Like, first off, I mean, can you just, <laughs> like, just looking at him? Yeah. If he didn't have the hat on, okay, maybe he'd look like a doctor. But with the fucking hat, he looks like a racist. Yeah, 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 he looks like a total fucking creep. He Chris looks like Hansen's R. Kelly. The, yeah, he looks like fucking R. Kelly. <laughs> Meanwhile, if Chris you wipe Hansen. Wayne's World off a of Luke's hat, that's what Luke's hat looks like right now. It's all about logos. True. It's all about <laughs> logos. Brand. All right, All right play this shit. Let's see how creepy this is. It is Breast is. Cancer Awareness Month. And what better way to spread awareness than on 6th Street? I'm going to ask girls if they've ever had a breast examination. And if not, well, it's their day, guys. And if not, well, and if I not, mean... Wait, sexually, hold on. sexually mo oh, no, molestation wait. on camera. He yep. just said he was gay. What? He just said he was gay. Listen. What? That doesn't matter. I happen to be a doctor who specializes in... Wait. Hold on. It what? Girls, if they've it... ever had a breast examination. And if not, well... It's their lucky day, guys. Oh, I thought he said that. Uh, he's not gay. Off. He's just a fucking pervert. Okay, now it makes it worse again. It's their lucky day, <laughs> I was, guys. I was about to try to redeem that. Yeah, dude. Well, I was like, oh, he's gay, gay whatever. It's a black shirt. It's, it it's says weird, sixth on it or something. It's probably a porn site. X th videos. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> it's for it's people it's with It's like a list. if Mike Tyson had X videos. X videos. X, X, X videos. X, X, X. X, X, X. <laughs> X N X X X T H X T H X T H. Examining breasts. Why is he so, so sweaty? <laughs> because he's about to do something extremely illegal. Did you hear how this man just laughed oh about touching titties? He was just like, "I'm gonna be." Can we talk about why this girl? <laughs> why there's another girl like, deep throating a banana? I don't know, but it's like a fascination Ladies. on the internet Ladies. where girls are deep throating bananas. Like you, you're not scared of that thing breaking off, that soft ass banana breaking off and choking to death. I'd be afraid of, you know, maybe they should just eat it. Yeah, it's a fucking yeah, food. It's a banana. Exactly. Why don't you I like deep how everyone carrots? in this room is pretending like they don't know why she's deep throating banana. <laughs> we all know I like exactly how we're all just lying to each Cody, other right now. The thing is, it's that it's you a banana. You fucking liars. Why what can't it be like about? a fucking sweet potato? Because they can't show or... her sucking dick on YouTube. That's why, Patrick. We <laughs> all know that. What about a frozen or sausage? A corn on the cob. Like, why is it always a banana? Like, the, that's so the, dangerous. The width. I mean, hold on. The width between a banana and the width between a sweet Wheat potato and the <laughs> and a corn on a cob of corn is buttered. fucking outrageous. It's butter? buttered, buttered, All buttered right. corn. You All know right. how I am, buddy. I mean, a carrot would work though. Yeah, he did butter. say carrot. Carrot, carrot would be carrot, carrot would, would work. Probably, carrots width would. Would you jack be more. off? Would you jack off to a girl eat, uh, deep throating a carrot, Luke? <laughs> no. He had to think. Well, that actually, was quick. I was say, he, he didn't no, know to porn think about ruined that. his brain. What do you mean? There's no way that you could ever jerk off to anything normal ever again. Luke has to beat off exclusively to furry dog porn. Like, there's the <laughs> only way that he can get a nut anymore with a live woman is if he closes his eyes and he thinks about, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bark for me again. <laughs> Bring me that tennis ball back. Oh, yeah. 
Sparky. <laughs> Take no throw. Saying dog names and stuff. Anyways, I hope play you this. Get hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> this is an ongoing joke that Luke fucks his dog. All right, moving on. But I don't. He does. Allegedly. <laughs> what the fuck ever. Oh, fight. Oh. oh, gross. What the fuck is this shit? I don't know. Do you know what stupid. month it is? No, I'm so fucking drunk, dude. I'm about yeah. to let you touch my tits <laughs> on camera. Fuck yeah, spring break. <laughs> <laughs> it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. You know what that means? I'm gonna spondle your tits. Uh, and she's like, I gotta leave. I gotta go. I gotta go right now. <laughs> Have you had your breast examined for cancer? A long time ago, but not recently. Well, today's your lucky day because I happen to be a doctor. <laughs> Isn't that a felony? That's yeah, a felony. That's a it felony is, on yeah. camera. That should be a felony. I think I that's a felony. It. He, she walked you, away you though. You can't per, impersonate a doctor. Impersonating a doctor alone is a uh, is a felony. You yeah, can't impersonate so. a doctor or a cop. Right. He's just a creep. This well, is just. Well, I'm a, a doctor, and uh, it's in the middle of New Orleans on Bourbon Street on Mardi Gras. I'm gonna uh, I'll fill up your tits to, to, to make sure you don't have cancer. Well, it's it's definitely fucking... not Mardi Gras though. Yeah. I'm just this saying. This is some like super creepy fun. shit to do. <laughs> It is. Like I mean, look at it. look at his fucking face. He's so excited. Look at that gap in his teeth. Yeah, he he's he's got never... sexual predator written all over his face. Right, because a live woman hasn't willingly eyebrows. A live woman has never willingly let him touch her. Never. It's never happened. This no. is his only opportunity. Yep. To incel. Do it. I'm calling it. He's an incel. And incel. Only... If you don't no. know what that means, it means he's he's so desperate to get laid. Take, he's never take, got fucked. Take it a step further. He's a vol super cell. incel. He's a vol cell, bro. Vol cell. <laughs> he's voluntar voluntarily <laughs> celibate. I never heard of that. Yeah, man. That's where they blame women for for like not touching them. So they're just like and they talk like, about my raping them and is, shit. Like women don't even deserve to touch me. Dude, that's so fucked up. Whatever People he is, so he's a fucked. creep. This is all alleged. <laughs> Please don't sue us. Oh my god, this dude's not, fucking committing not, a crime on the internet. It's not. I don't. I don't take it back. I I don't like this guy. Yeah, this dude's a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, this dude's a sick now. fuck. He's you want to see girls. a sicker fuck? I mean, we play, don't have a lot play. of time left. But uh, we do. You want to get in the last episode? Oh, you want to keep keep going? This? Let's go. Yeah. All right, all right. Right. I want to see him have commit a felony. She's all about it. She wants to see the weird. Or she had to look at October, her phone. What's the what's the say it? Wait, what'd you say? She had to look at her phone to look at the month. <laughs> She's like, uh, uh, I think October twenty fifth. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a text from my friend. I need to go. All right, well, let me touch your tit. Oh, oh, look, she's ready. <laughs> and Jesus. he's dead. Did you know it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month? Of course month. it is. It's All right. October. So we're giving free breast examinations to spread awareness. Go ahead. All right, guys. What <laughs> she you want she's to drunk as fuck. She doesn't care. She's drunk. Yeah, just go ahead. That's fine. She went right for it, too. She was like, yep, I've already been touched 175 I've already signed the, the first, release. It's the first boob that he gets to touch, and he's like, oh. Look at that fucking face. Dude, <laughs> dude, dude he looks like he's about this fucking... Motherfucker. He looks like he's trying to keep himself from drooling out of his mouth right now. He Dude, does. looks like the biggest nerd ever. I can't ever. believe this woman thinks I'm a doctor. That's the face of a man, like, screaming, I would, I sh should never. Incel. I should, I would never normally be touching this Yo, woman outside of this fake scenario. Yo, they're fucking sitting in the background. Oh, what the fuck? That's, That's even more ah! fucked up. That's even more <laughs> fucked up. They're, the cops are sitting in One the background cop, watching. One cop, two cop, three cop, four, four cop. Yeah. I have a feeling this isn't the worst thing happening at fucking Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Well, that so doesn't shit. justify it's, it's not, This is definitely I'm not, not Mardi saying Gras, Mardi Gras doesn't happen in October. So it's got to be okay. Oktoberfest or it's some shit. It's got to be like Oktoberfest or something like that. Because Mardi Gras actually just happened uh, earlier this earlier. month. Yeah. So I thought they said you something about dummy. that. I'm you're so fucking dumb. If you ever get a chance, go to Mardi Gras. No, do you're it. dumb. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm dumb and drunk. All right, Luke. <laughs> Continuing on. I mean, usually New Orleans is always having parties anyway. Yeah, yeah. So. Especially on Bourbon Street. Yeah. It's a good time. It is. It's fun. <clears throat> Anyways, play this shit. And go around the circumference on the right side. Okay. You want to feel and push <laughs> apply pressure the the to the side here. Over here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. This dude got this so is uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, it's this is like prank invasion. Whoa, dude, whoa, no way. More cleavage? Oh, no, dude. Whoa, nipple. <laughs> yeah, he would see a nipple and freak out. Have you ever heard of uh, Prank Invasion, that YouTube channel? No. Is that one of those terrible, like, 
prank it's, sites where they just hurt people it's, and they think no. it's funny. It's like one of those sites where it's this one guy Probably. who try who pays girls to make out with them and say it's mommy make out day. No. And like he'll pretend like he'll have these women that come out in their bikinis while their kids are next to him and don't fucking make out with them and feel them up and shit in front of the kids and it's what like super that? cringy. For as much as a degenerate and a weirdo that I am, I just like all this shit and the shit Cringe. that you're describing, I'm just like, ugh, ugh. dude, it's like, creep. if you're over here making me be like, ugh, you're a fucking creep. Yeah. Like, you're yeah. a super creep. Slimy yeah. fucking piece of shit. Yeah, because Cody's fucking gross. Yeah, He's he really gross. fucking creepy, dude. He is. So if you're making that fucking slime ball curl... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got some something coming towards you. I love the word choice there. Slime ball curl. All right, keep going. <laughs> Anyways, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Are we going to go to the worst video to close this out? No, we can keep going. Let's go to the other videos. I'm hammered. I'm going to ruin this episode. Let's keep going. <laughs> what do you mean other, Let's get this. Other Let's go to the next video. All right, cool. Dope. You want to go to the other video? Yeah. You just really want to watch the fucked up shit. I do. I've been waiting. <laughs> Let's all night. fucking watch it, Cody. Okay, so this video I have not seen, but Jack Griffin sent it. So I'm assuming it's fucking something so fucking traumatizing that I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. Play it, Cody. Jack already sent this to me, also, and I've. I'm already sorry, watched Brad it. and Marlene. I don't know what the fuck we're about to watch, but it's gonna either. be bad. It's I gonna do. be bad, I'm sure. <laughs> Let me set it up for you. Are you prepared <laughs> to see full frontal male nudity? Brad said yes. All right. Brad, so if Brad, Brad says yes, I'm I'm gonna watch for it too. For audio <laughs> listeners, Brad had his tongue out. He he closed his eyes and he was like, uh, uh, "Daddy," uh, but I turned his mic off. But yeah, that was how Brad reacted when I said that. All right, here we go. We didn't vet this video at all, did we? Oh, video six work. minutes. Thank God. No, no, no. Thank God. <laughs> With a quick reload. Well, don't worry, guys. He I'll said thank save the video. Oh, well. Thank God. Thank God. Everybody shut up. Kind of love. Is that a grandma? Yeah, it sounds like a grandma. So it's a dude, and it starts off, you just see his shoes, and he's filming this, and you hear somebody talking off camera, and it sounds like an older lady. This is on E-Fucked. No. I'm sorry, guys. I love my children. I like how the video on the screen says E-Fucked. I would hug them and, oh, the and give them yeah. a kiss and tell them that I love them, and I would... What the fuck? Dude, I'm feeling like I'm going to vomit already. Like, I don't even know what's about to happen. I saw and shoes, and now I'm seeing hands. Does anybody want to take a like guess? A belly button? This video is called Unforgivable on E Fucked. Do you guys uh, want to take a like guess? It looks like he's shoving something up his dick. Like no, penis? just keep playing it. Let's just get is the shock value over with. In... Okay. No. What were you going to say? Her finger in his uh, dick hole? Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. It's a good guess. What's that Brad, called? Do you have anything? I mean, that looks like his belly button right there. Oh, so, his belly button, huh? Mm, yeah. I, I'm, it looks like, as she said, it looks like somebody's sticking a finger up the guy's dick hole. All right, let's uh, see what's going to happen. I'm going to puke. For all the things oh, no, it's no, he's oh, just, it's his Oh, it's his dick. He's jacking off. Oh, to his grandma. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. So this guy is filming himself jacking off while his grandma's sitting across the fucking... Is that the, his the, grandma? The, it looks like his grandma. Does it? it, it she's does. 70 years old. She's got white hair. She looks like a fucking grandma. Who the yeah, fuck else would it be? Yeah, but he's also black, and she's also very white. True. Maybe it's not his grandma. Maybe it's some guy that met this woman in a library or a Bob no, no, Evans. No, no, no. It could be in a nursing home. No, I think be... it's an adoptive mother. I think that's what it is. Yeah. It, this uh, is yeah, his adoptive mother. Because Jack was describing this movie, or this uh, movie, this, <laughs> wow. yeah, this cinematic this performance, this feature length film. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, Jack was describing to me, and it apparently is his adoptive mother is what, what they were saying. Played no. by Betty because White. Because if you keep listening to it, <laughs> played by Betty White. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get through five and a half minutes of this without throwing up all over the keyboard. But uh, there's parts of this where it, it gives Everybody hints. Dude, I'm going to go off. You get the idea. <laughs> well, that's just as bad down there. Let's go over here. Just like you, I want you. Well, just listen. Go to back to the video. I don't want to watch the dude jerk off. No one wants to. Step. We watched Joey O'Neill do it. Pat, it's just more shit for me to blur out later. What I'm saying is the rest of this is him beating off to this old lady. We don't need to watch that, but let's listen to the audio real quick Why just to get an idea it? of this sick fuck. Because he's, he's a sick, sick motherfucker, motherfucker, dude. Motherfucker. Let's just hear the audio. You guys understand what the video is now. Less for me to blur oh, out. What if this is me? 
It's not you. Does, it's so, not you. Does she know? Fucked. Does she know that he's doing yeah. that? Does she? Okay. That's him spanking <laughs> that's his meat. No. Damn, that's he's going fucking rough, isn't he? Yeah, you, no, ju- no, no lube. And you have so much put in That is such an awful nightmare inducing yeah. noise. My dick is going inside of my body right now like a turtle's <laughs> head. And it's not. How is she not telling this dude you. off? Because it's happened many times, okay. Luke. He so, just called her mom. I, I get so uncomfortable. Well, that's, that's what they did to you. Yeah, yeah, she definitely knows. She's looking right at him. She knows what a dick looks she like. Was, she's she fucking making, 80 years old. I she guarantee she choked on a dick at one point. Him. You guys see that? She was making like straight eye contact. Like, <laughs> like I won't look down, but... I did. You did. I'm just glad yes, you're here enjoying my company. <laughs> He's over here repeating words yeah, that she's saying creepily like you did. You just hear him spanking his dick. Yeah. Dude, this is horrifying. Like... He's going harder. He's, He's getting going after it. Chuff, 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 He's trying to start chuff, a fire chuff, down there, dude. He's trying to mince some garlic right there. <laughs> He's trying to play a game of five on one. You need to see about getting. Um, She's having a normal conversation yeah. while her fucking right, grandson's dude, jacking up. Gonna, I'm gonna throw up everywhere. I gotta stop. All right, you get the idea. Like, and what, what she's fuck? just like giving him a motivation. So what, wait, Cody, in the background? Cody. And he's coming to it. Coming. He's about to come to the motivational speech. He's like, yeah, mom, I can do better. <laughs> like, get the Cody. fuck out of here, you psychopath. Cody, you saw this whole video? No, I, I watched that. What happens with, at the end? Does he the, come on her? No, there's no come. Does at he the come end. on grandma? That's why I fast forwarded the last 30 seconds to see if Grandson there was come on like, the grandma. If we're going to watch it on the podcast, I got to see grandma come. And then there was no grandma coming. And I was disappointed, but now now that I have this watery, I'm you about to throw up whiskey fucked. taste in my Thanks, mouth. Thanks, Jack. I'm excited that that didn't happen. Jack, Jack Griffin, you're a savage. I appreciate Always you. Always sending us the nastiest you of shit. Fuck. Nas- so, that, oh, what the fuck, dude? So on that, uh, did you guys expect <laughs> that we'd be playing a beat-off porn? For you guys to- I, I kind of expected some kind of porn. Yeah. But yeah. I wasn't sure about beat-off porn. Cody, porn. have you ever jacked off to your grandma? Never once. <laughs> Never once. I can um, only hope that goes without saying for everyone at the table. Yeah, anyone that's listening. Brad looks upset right now that we're all saying this. All right, do you want to end the episode really fast? <laughs> we can keep going. What's the next I'm video? Kidding. No, I'm kidding. There was a joke about Brad beating off to his grandma. All My right, grandma's everyone. dead. Wow. So is mine, Brad. Of shit. <laughs> you want to have a dead off, Brad? I bet I'll win. <laughs> wow. This is getting dark. Sour tones. <laughs> I'm just Anyways, kidding. making jokes. No, she is dead. But uh, make it my grandma. Talking about my. Mine is dead. You jack off to your grandma. Your dead grandma. Just the dead one, dude. Not the alive one. That's sick, dude. Don't be a fucking monster. This is getting weird. Hey, you right, brought, you fucking brought it up. Patrick. You're the one that did this, and now you're over here <laughs> talking about fucking Jack it did off, this. dude. Why would you tell that you're not vetting, starting conversations you don't want to be a part of? I guess that's true. <laughs> Come on, man. Thank There's you, some Luke. things that I've shared on this podcast that I. I I have oh, no excuses speaking for of which, uh, maybe this is how we end. Maybe Brad will get mad about this because his friend Shad Tester, Shad Tester, Shad from Tester. a fictional book, a uh, fictional narrative that is in no way true or real. Pat, or not Pat, but uh, Tat, Tat. What are you saying, Dana. Cody? I'm, I'm setting up characters for a story. Patrick, give me a moment. Pat Beta uh, told me this story about some dynamite that you... you uh, Shad Tester and Pat Beta oh, yeah. may have been a part of. Uh, well, Brad Hester has a big smile on his face. He must know about Shad Tester's story about this. Do you, can you tell that story that's fictional? Do you remember no this day real? on he Tosh.0? He was fucking oh. scraping the bottom wow. of the barrel for that fucking connection. <laughs> he was. <laughs> I was. I'm sorry. That was a reach. You talking I about tried. the uh, Tosh.0 video? Yeah. 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 Remember that video? That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yes. Yeah. So my. Uh, this to happened not... to a friend of his. Yeah. yeah. So my friend's uncle, right? My friend's uncle, Shad Tester. Shad, Shad Tester. Uh, my friend's uncle's friend gave him a half a stick of dynamite, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> well, he okay. So for um, like Fourth of July, the guy makes them, um, and he what? gives he like he he gave my uncle or my friend's uncle like I don't know like ten of them, and. Uh, 
Uh, this is hard to say in a second fucking person. Okay. I know, but you have to. Okay. So, Chad Tester and Pat... Data. Red... Red Dead Redemption 4. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so... Name them whatever you want. Everybody knows it's you and Pat. Just tell the story. All right. Allegedly. 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 I'm kidding. It's a fictional narrative with the same names. So, pretty much, um, with this half stick of dynamite, uh, Pat's old house, we lit it off in the middle of the street. It pretty much blew... It blacked out out all the cameras, shook the whole fucking street. Car And I mean, like... I'm not just meaning, like, you know, like, just like, you know, like a small street. Like, this is not a... It it, it, it did a big fucking street. Shook the whole fucking thing, made the cars down the street fucking go off the alarms. The camera just, like, fucking felt like the camera exploded. But... I was the one who lit it off. Three kids were crippled permanently. Or you weren't. Your cousin was. My cousin was the one who lit it off. I fell and off my big wheel three states over. And, from and this explosion. Patrick <laughs> Beta was filming. Yes, and and it, it just it was fucking weird, man. It just a yeah. big fucking explosion. Blacked out all the cameras. Fucking, I think one of the the guy's camera, somebody's camera, fucking broke because it blacked it out because it was so fucking loud and explosive. Oh I wish we still God. had that video. So, uh, basically, what he's recommending or saying is that uh, Tad, Bester, and they Rat- know Pat Patrick just made it. a... Uh, there was a video that we, we made that got uh, aired on Tosh.0 at one point and uh, basically lit some... Well, there were some kids that were throwing some fucking M80s and shit and M1000s and shit that'll blow your hands off at people that were walking down the street, so we decided... To one up them, uh, once upon a time, Y'all allegedly. You threw dynamite at these kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe Not we them. didn't do anything. Not all right, him, Luke, dude, Tad, Tad Brester, and <laughs> Patrick, Wait, no. Patrick, Patrick, Patrick Pena. Can we, can we take that back? Because Tad Brester seems like that guy from the video <laughs> yeah. that was touching women's breasts. God, Tad can we just say Fester. Uncle Fester? <laughs> Is that better? Uncle Fester and Rat Ratrick. <laughs> Every Ratchet. story that we've ever Anyways. told on this podcast ever is fictional. Please yeah, don't take us to court. Happened, We're just ever. kidding. We just make making everything up stories. Up. Make everything up. This Hi, is Mom. a fictional podcast <laughs> about fictional people. Continuing yeah, on, Pat. That, uh, How did you guys get on Tosh.0? So it, in it, fake life. It aired in fake life. And uh, yeah, we fucking managed to be on that. And it was something that was so loud that all the car alarms in the street went la- uh, off. And uh, yeah. Wasn't us. Definitely wasn't me nope. or Brad. I plead the fifth. Yep. You guys sound super convincing in court right now. Um, eight years later. What about this? I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. Better, much better. Yeah, you know I'm what sure, about court? You're not I'm sure that's the part of the episode that they're going to edit out and play as Exhibit B and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's the part that they'll be like, yeah, we're going to sound by this. We got them, boys. It, it did also blow a... Uh, Big hole in the concrete. Yeah, there was. So a, there was a fucking crater in the concrete. <laughs> yeah. So allegedly, not, not so allegedly, al- not so allegedly. When I was a child, and uh, I think I'm free from legal repercussions. We'll my see dad about did that. This. Yeah, we will. But I was a. No, I won't. really was a child. I was 12 or 13. And my dad was showing me how to make bombs in the kitchen. Like we allegedly, blown. allegedly, oh, there's allegedly nothing allegedly for that one. Nothing alleged. I did this. They showed me how to make bombs. All right, lawyers. <laughs> You heard him. I was not was 12 involved. years old. I've never done this as an adult ever. I've never taught anybody how to do this. I am not. <laughs> Tell a, us how you did it over the podcast. I don't encourage anyone ever to do this. But if you want to know how to do it, here's how I did it. <laughs> Just kidding. It involved a drill press. I'm sure you guys all have those laying around your living room. So, uh, yeah, I, I blew up a lot of shit as a kid. So it's not like, to me, it's not like a crazy story. I'm not like, you didn't kill nobody. I have friends with those stories, and I don't have them on the podcast, like, playfully changing their names. Like, ah. <laughs> you have the video? Can we see it? How do we get there? Well, Send no, it no, to- it's not the video of uh, us just, or anything. No, no, no. Just, I just, it was the FBI open up. I don't know what happened oh, okay. to the video. I've never personally seen it, yeah, but we, we had actually, a lot of people it, reach it was, out to it us. It wasn't even it us who, uh, like, we didn't even record it. So it was uh, the neighbors. Or I'm guessing they're the ones who sent it in. 
Yeah, so. there was probably multiple people that were recording, but they uh, probably sent it in trying to make a legitimate complaint, and instead <laughs> the police Viral. were just holding each other, drinking beers, laughing at the bar. Like we gotta send this to Ty's point out. We got some <laughs> gold here, boys. Yeah, it was really wild. A lot that of different crazy stories with Brad back in the day. Um, Brad knocked me out one time in a show. <laughs> Tell that story. Let's plug their well, shit again and let's get off this podcast. Yeah, we're going to get off this after this. Uh, Br- Luke's going to laugh like a sec- fucking psychopath because every time I tell it, he Banking laughs. Banking on it. <laughs> so one time we were playing a show at Backstage Cafe. Rest in peace. Um, basically, okay. Brad was doing a ba- uh, like a base flip, and I was doing some other kind of twirl or some shit on the floor because the some stage ballerina was so small. move. I mean, a plie, <laughs> some fucking a uh, plie. Who knows? I had a tutu on. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> a black tutu on, uh, and he, cl- he cracks me right in the tempo <laughs> temple with his base head or his base. Yeah, the neck of his base. Uh, yeah, and he hit me like in a perfect angle where I thought it was like three songs later. Luke has already lost his <laughs> fucking he, mind. He, he just blacked out and fell off stage. Yeah, I fell down <laughs> and like almost. Fu- I mean, there was a ton of times where I jumped off stage and no one caught me. Yeah, yeah. Or some shit. N- uh, nobody even thought twice about it either. They thought you were drunk or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you literally got up and you were like, you were like. What song are we on? Yeah, I <laughs> oh my God. And it was literally the same song within like the like thirty seconds. So he like, missed probably a minute worth of, <laughs> worth of singing or screaming. So like, Luke's, wh- Luke's laughing harder because in the background, I'm sure the audio listeners can hear it. He's heard this story <laughs> before, but he's never heard this story verified by the other person that was there before. And now that it's been verified, Luke can legitimately laugh at it. Like, ah, that brain damage. Ah, it's so good. <laughs> It sounds like something like that. <laughs> shrieking, shrieking cackles. He's so excited. It's like a witch. To know that this was for real. Like, oh, I thought I was giving it a half of cackle before when I thought that it might have been fake brain damage. It's honestly, just a good it's story for the podcast. It's happened more than once. I yeah. just don't remember the part where he blacked out and fell off the stage. I, well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. You forgetting that part. I see why it's a real rib tickler, Luke. Pat, do you like, remember when you were when we were playing at that arcade and you stepped <laughs> fell off stage? No. <laughs> we played at Arcade Legacy or some yeah, shit. Yeah, right? It was like Arcade Legacy or something, and you you were like on the uh, you tried to stand on the speaker and you just fell off and rolled. <laughs> I'm sure and that right happened. After, right after you did that, everybody was trying to pick you up and help you up, and then I fell off. Oh god! <laughs> nobody <laughs> seen me fall off because they were all worried about you. <laughs> Dude, I literally just like. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> embarrassing as fuck. Well, for you, not for me. Well, we had noticed. like. Well, here's something that was really embarrassing. I've told this story once before, but like we're at our CD release show for our third uh, EP. Basically, I remember I was looking at someone. And I was like saying, "Jump off! The, jump off! Uh, I'm gonna jump on you! I'm gonna jump on you!" Like making hand motions, and some big ass dudes like, "All right, I'll catch you! I'll catch you!" Like making that fucking hand gestures. And I jumped off stage, and my fucking father and my mom is there, and like my uncle and my aunt are there. They're like, they never have come to a sh- never come to shows ever, and they saw this fucking shit. Was that the Mad Hatter? Uh, no, it was Thompson House. Okay, I don't Continue. know or Madison Continue. Theater. Um, but I jumped off stage and they totally moved out of the way and I fell on the fucking ground, <laughs> puked in the fucking green room and I went back up on stage. But I don't my remember. fucking family I, saw this shit. I just want to mention on an unrelated note, again, a shout out to our sponsor, Anthony Tank Mansfield. He appropriately named Luke as <laughs> Psychopath Luke. Psychopath or Psycho Luke. I think Psycho Luke rolls off the tongue better. But if you prefer Psychopath Luke, yes. This is Psycho Luke, if you're curious who the studio <laughs> audience is. It's one man. He's also the host of the podcast. Oh, man. And he's over here. <laughs> he reminds me. Have you guys ever seen Tom Green? Whoa. Is it? Oh, Everybody's talking Tom about Green? horrific Tom, bodily injury. Tom Green. You guys Tom have seen, Green? seen yeah, his show? Him. Okay. Phil. Yes. yes. That's him. <laughs> That's a perfect. The guy who just drinks coffee, but in, in this case, is what, what is no, that No, Luke provides good stuff for the podcast. <laughs> Phil doesn't provide anything no, to Phil the doesn't Tom do Green shit. show. Luke provides great things to the podcast, but he also is a psychopath, so that's why Mansfield name Mansfield's name works way better. I feel like <gasps> I love you, Mansfield. Shit. Love you so much. <laughs> um, also, another story that I remember that I never will forget is one time we went to go record with like the Crimson Armada, and when we went to record with there, he we usually stay at his place. And oh, was that when he had his girlfriend? That's when he had his girlfriend. So yeah. he said that you can't stay here. And we went to the fucking motel. <laughs> the pool. And we tried to hop that fence. Oh, my God. And we hopped the fence. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Let me finish the story and we can get off of here. 
Uh, I've had a lot to drink. Let me fucking reminisce with my dude. <laughs> so we jump over the fucking fence, and the whole pool that we were trying to swim in was covered in dirt. It was just a fucking <laughs> landfill. Yeah. Anyways, that they've totally terrible. ruined this whole I'm thing. Sorry, keep going. Go oh, it's all right. Thank you all so right. much, Brad and Marley, for sucking. coming on. No, Pat, uh, you were sucking the the crimson Armada's <laughs> dick. You had like half the shaft in your mouth of all four of their dicks, and the drummer wasn't there because he was drunk at the bar, and like it tasted kind of like patchouli because one of them has a hippie girlfriend. <laughs> keep going from there, Pat. Anyways, <laughs> what yes. the fuck? Anyways, Brad, Marlene, thank you so Shut much for coming Shut the fuck up, on. tell the story. That God was it. it. That was it. It's over with. Done. All right, all right. Done. <laughs> yes, really, no, thank you, Brad and Marlene, for coming on <laughs> yeah. the show. I appreciate you guys. Thank like, you. I'm going to be, I'm going to for, for sure follow your, your your Twitch page. I'm going to check that out for sure. I'm going to give your uh, YouTube a subscribe thank without a doubt. I'm gonna better like the videos, out. too. Same yeah, here. absolutely. Yeah. I liked what we listened to on this episode, really. Brad had fucking tremendous merch. Look at his hat when you see the photo. He's the got pins. the Beardo hat. If you want to follow him, go to uh, Instagram underscore R6. Or, I'm sorry, Beardo. Idiot. Instagram backslash <laughs> Beardo underscore R6. I'm drunk. I'm sorry. Or Beardo Twitch. B-E-A-R-D-O. And that's on Twitch. And then uh, he's got hats. He's got a whole store where you can get, like, shirts. You can get these nice enamel pins that we have. Our sponsor, Anthony Tank Mansfield. You get these nice glasses of man- enamel pins. Shirts like what I'm wearing. If you fart, if you follow. If you fart. <laughs> Jesus, if you fart on Brad. I got to get off the mic soon. If you want to follow Marlene Mendoza. Where do we follow you, Marlene? Go to Don't, her. For the love of fucking God, <laughs> shut up, Cody, so you can fucking promote your shit correctly. <laughs> the YouTube, where can we follow you? YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, all of that good stuff. Under what name? Um, well, <coughs> Mar- like Marley Mendoza. Mendoza, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, follow that music. And Brad, where do we follow you? Correctly. Where's uh, the correct place? Which one? I think I figured it out. You just go to Beardo, right? Yeah, just type in B E A R D O, and then just type in uh, Twitch or Beardo, or Rainbow Six. Beardo, Rainbow Six. Because you Rainbow have Six. a there's a there's a YouTuber out there that's named Brad Hester as well that makes music. So you got to type in. Make sure when you type in on YouTube, if you watch this shit, Beardo Rainbow Six. It's, yeah, it's usually uh my YouTube is uh, Brad L I Hester, so Bradley Hester, pretty much. That's my YouTube. Check that shit out. Thanks again for coming on, guys. It was a good fucking time. Yeah, it really was. We, we saw you. a fucking guy jack off to his grandma. It was really mm. weird. Super uncomfortable. <laughs> Damn, dude, my dick's rock hard. I bet it is. Fucking.